welcome to the Beetle and Graham's Pandemonium Warehouse Shopping Network. Shipping Goblin Bob here is going to tell you all about our new Platinum Edition. It's my favorite. Thanks, George. Friends, are you tired of putting a cat, a flask of poison, and a source of radiation into a sealed box and having to settle for a cat that's dead or alive? Well, Beetle and Graham's Pandemonium Warehouse has the product for you. Introducing the Schrodinger's Cat Platinum Edition. With the Schrodinger's Platinum Box, you can have both versions of your pet at the same time. Free yourself from objective collapse and enjoy a cat that simultaneously exists in two decoherent realities. It's time for atomic indeterminacy to enter the macroscopic domain. It's time for Schrodinger's Cat Platinum Edition. <laughs> yeah. She's totally dead. But totally alive. Only from Beetle and Grimm's Pandemonium Warehouse. Simultaneously available and sold out now. And hello, is this working? It does seem to be working. I don't know, they're waving, but they're not talking. And Jeff is just oh, paused. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, Sorry, it, that was it, a really it, bad thing to not do. Yeah, so it seems we, to be we working. We sound on the stream as well, so we're good. Oh, we were just waiting to hear my, ten, my, <laughs> my, my uh, lovely tender tones. Uh, that's, that's my internet so, connection went, <laughs> you got to one, Dave, ah. and it went for a split second, it and then came one. back. <laughs> well, hello! Anyway, uh, we'll carry on because it seems to be working. Um, welcome to Banner Badgers. I'll just pull these plugs out. Uh, I'm Dave, your GM and host for this game. We are, of course, playing Rise of the Rune Lords. And these lovely, beautiful people are my, my players. Hello, players. How are you doing? Hello, 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 hello. GM Dave. Yeah. Happy birthday for last Friday. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. I get more birthday wishes. I mean, that's, that's even better. That's, that's more fine. birthday wishes. That's fine. You can do that. Have a, have a, it's still February. It's it's technically my birthday month. You can you can have that. Um, oh, okay. We get birthday months at some point. Oh, well, we might as well. We'll do that next year. We'll do that next year. Um, okay, birthday so. years. Do we, yeah. do we get those? Yeah. No. I think that's only at specific occasions, like marker. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 50, 60. Like maybe your 30th, which is mine this year. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Moving on. Moving on. on, moving on. <laughs> uh, welcome to our special guest player this week. We have Charlie Real from Beetle and Grimms. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey. Hey there. <laughs> now, if you didn't know, awesome. Charlie is one of the Fab Five founders of Beetle and Grimm, uh, which means I've now got the whole set. I've had all of them. <laughs> this is this Gotta is catch them all. this is even better than Pokemon. This is this is great. Um, yeah, I've, I've had the entire Beetle not at the same time, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll, that's that's the next goal. We'll see if we can get everyone on. We will do like a I don't know a Royal Rumble or something. Beetle and Grim versus the Rune Lords. Let's we'll, we'll, we'll see yeah. what happens. Um, so yeah, uh, scalp collection. That's what happens. A yeah, that's, that's the part of it that kind of makes me slightly nervous. So there is a little connotation I've got to put the hand to a wall with my friend's heads on it. <laughs> well, maybe whiz kids can turn them into something. You know, we just do our character heads. 
and then sure. you can that. We could do that. Um, yeah, no, that's, that'll, that'll work. Charlie is here um, to support or, or to represent uh, Beetle and Grain, which means we will be doing a, uh, a giveaway. We have a couple of giveaways uh, to do today. So please do, your audience, please do remind me about the giveaways. We'll do them around halfway mark. You know the rules. Uh, if you're new here, hello, uh, welcome. <laughs> We're a band of badgers. It's normally a little bit better than this. <laughs> We've had some few. The stress <laughs> level is high, sure. man. The stress level is high. <laughs> a few technical difficulties. I am ready to draw blood. Um, but we will we will be doing a couple of giveaways later on. And if uh, not just a fan of Beetle and Grimm's, but if you've seen the uh, camp, the, the Pathfinder Character Chronicles, uh, the Kickstarter they did um, a little while back, uh, Charlie has actually sent through some some images and some photos, so we can do an update on that one. It might not work on your magic background there, Charlie. Oh, <laughs> teasing us already! Look, teasing us out of the gate. <laughs> But um, as always, thank you to uh, Beadle and Grimm as a whole, who uh, are, are massive supporters of not just this show, but our entire channel. So again, thank you. And thank you to our other supporters. Now in the box below me there, you'll see various discounts popping up, uh, different promotions that are running. And also we have um, a new one with Level Up Dice. So be sure to keep uh, an eye on our, uh, our live chat whichever side of the screen, I, I think it's over that side, um, you'll see some some stuff about uh, Level Up. So do go and click the link, follow it through, and we've got loads and loads of stuff to come. So do check that out. Now, if you would like to support us in return, you can. Uh, if you're watching this live on Twitch, you can use your Twitch subscription, your Twitch Prime subscription, uh, to send a little bit of love this way. Just shower us. I was gonna say golden shower. That's the wrong kind of thing I mean. I mean, show <laughs> us no. with, no, gold, with gold coins. <laughs> it's that kind of show, people. Aren't you great you're tuned in? <laughs> uh, now, also coming up later, well, this is Thursday, coming up next week, we're back on Monday with our Great British Brush Off show. If you're into painting minis, uh, stick around. We've got, we've got a guest <clears throat> pro artist plus a special guest. And three of us are complete amateurs and we're learning how to paint. It's great. Uh, next Thursday, we'll be back with Rune Lords once again. And it's <coughs> Sorry, Friday. You can't, you, can't, you can't skip over. Scott, you've, you've missed an important point. Yeah, yeah. It's bringing everyone up to date on who has gold and silver stars. Oh, is that oh, why yes, you were yeah. coughing? Yeah. Could yeah. you remind us, Dave? Yeah, I, so I won. Star last week. I won. So Joe's won <laughs> and I've won. And then we'll find out who's going to win on Monday. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so join us next Friday. Talk again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, join, join us next Friday for a tomb of annihilation as that one continues. So let's just quickly see who's in the channel, do some shout outs. Uh, Marissa. Hi, Marissa. Thank you for joining us again. Hey, Marissa. Sean Hi, TW. Sam. He's our fantastic cartoonist. The, the pictures you'll see behind the players. Josh McGuire is in the house. Hi, Josh. Uh, Baron Snowhand. Josh. Thank you for joining us, Chab Hunter. Always a pleasure. Oh, Christian Click. Christian Click? Don't know. Gold Swimming, see? Gold Swimming is a bit like Golden no. Shells. No. <laughs> uh, no, this, no. was, this was not in the brief. <laughs> <laughs> this is why the others haven't come back. It like, no. very Go quickly. <laughs> we give it to Charlie. He hasn't been yet. <laughs> uh, Ipsy. Hi, Ipsy. Roasty Toasty. Rubber Slayer. Ooh, that's a new name. Rubber Slayer. I kind of like that. <laughs> bit devious. Bit devious, I like it. Uh, you will never know. And Weed Knight. Weed Knight's back. Hello, Weed Knight. How are you doing? Hello, Thank you for joining us again. Uh, Weed Knight is a previous uh, winner. So stick around. Who knows? You might be lucky again. Yeah. Um, who else is there? Carbon. Well done, Carbon. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with the game. Uh, right. Where? where Actually, we? I was going to say where were we, but we're not because we're at the start of a new chapter. So this is, especially if you're new to the channel, if you don't know what's been going on, I'm going to do a quick recap. So this is the entirety of uh, Rise of the Rune Lords. We're at the very start of chapter four. There are six chapters. So Rise of the Rune Lords began as our heroes took part in the Swallowtower Festival in the town of Sandpoint. 
And then as the celebration draw to a close, a band of goblins attacked. The heroes fought off the invaders and established themselves as heroes. But when the local bartender, Miko, goes missing, the town turned to the heroes for help. By rescuing Amiko, revealed a conspiracy. Turns out her estranged brother is involved with a group that has gathered the goblin tribes for an even bigger raid on Sandpoint. Intent on offering the town up in sacrifice to the goddess Lamashtu. Now, as I'm reading this, the player's going, ooh, because <laughs> we were talking about this oh, yeah. yesterday. Just writing down all the stuff we missed. All the stuff we missed. <laughs> this is why I do it every chapter. Um, so then, after tracking the goblins to their lair in Thistletop, the heroes confront the conspirator, conspirators, conspirators, yeah, and defeated the leader. The leader was a, a an Asimar named Nualia, who carried a curious amulet depicting a seven-pointed star. Now I do have one. I would I would dig one Here's out. One. Moment. Made Here, earlier. Here's one. Oh, we made earlier. This is from Campaign so Coins, nice. by the way. This is a lovely piece. So there we go. Anyway, that's the amulet, which shows a seven-pointed star. And then, um, a clue was left behind by a madman calling himself the Skinsaw Man. The heroes eventually confront this murderer, who turns out to be... Anyone? A brother. Harrison's brother. Harrison's brother. Alden Foxglove. Also Paul from Beetle and <laughs> This is where you start to connect Makes dots. total sense, yeah. by the way. <laughs> um, so they, they find Alden in a haunted mansion near Sandpoint. There they learn that he is but an agent of a larger cult based in the city of Magnamar. The investigation moves to that city where the heroes confront the Skinsaw cult before learning that a related danger has taken up residence in an old clock tower. Now here, the heroes encounter the true leader of the cult, a sadistic Lamia, uh, unknown to the PCs, however, the Lamia matriarch has been charged with harvesting souls of greed. This was to aid in the reawakening of an ancient wizard tyrant known as Runelorg Karzog. Now, the Lamia's use of the Sihedron rune, the same seven-pointed star, both Nualia and the Skinsaw Man employed, must hint at a larger threat. Not sure if they cottoned onto that. Now, the heroes... Now. Yeah. <laughs> the heroes <laughs> are then sent into central Varicia to investigate why the rangers uh, at a remote Fort Rannick have gone silent. They arrive to find the fort overrun, overrun sorry, by ogres and the surviving rangers were held pres prisoner by degenerate ogre king. By rescuing the rangers, the heroes liberated Fort Rannick and then start to piece together what was really going on in the region. So they had to deal with a flooding town, uh, an old failing Thessalonian dam. They finally arrive at the upper slopes of the infamous Hook Mountain. And it's there where they confront and defeat the ogres and learn that a powerful stone giant named Mokmurian is now planning a raid on Sandpoint. And that is where we are at the story. And we'll see you next week. So, <laughs> bye -bye. Um, so from... You've, you've managed to defeat Bar Breakbones, who was the stone giant in Hook Mountain. You then found a note detailing that there is a, a, a raid, an imminent raid, on the town of Sandpoint. And you decided to... What, what would you call it, Elias? Shadow travel, what was it? 
Shadow Walk. Shadow Walk. Shadow Walk. Yeah, as I, far I, as we you needed can. to to rest f- first, so I, I you know we we spend the night in my cozy cabin in the cave, mm-hmm. next to the rotting corpse of Bull Breakbones, and then well, he's, a know, uh, he's a stone giant. He's a stone giant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the rocks um, and pebbles. The so I rest for a few hours just to be able to recover my spells, and then we then we shadow walk. Which allows us to swear, travel twenty times faster and skip most of the normal. Um, you know, uh, we can basically go in a straight line, head straight to Sandpoint, and we can travel like that for eight hours. If that's still not enough to get there, then I'll use uh, arcane recovery or um, uh, arcane bond recovery mm-hmm. to cast a spell a second time, so we can travel sixteen hours straight and and travel twenty times further than we would normally. Okay. Skipping. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, do you want to explain again how it works? What happens yeah, to? Yeah, so I I cast a spell, and uh, and our natural shadows, and the the spaces of darkness that lie in the corners of the room coalesce and travel towards us, and we stretch out into thin two dimensional avatars, and basically skip along those black lines, jumping from shadow to shadow, the spaces between spaces, and we find ourselves travelling in this unerring straight line um, to the point we want to get to. So become a 2D platformer? Is that like... Mm. <laughs> it's right, a yeah. darting across, across the ground. A- accompanied by an 8-bit soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you <said he> had <laughs> <laughs> right, it is it's... intrigue me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, Harrison, but you do look better in 2D, I'd say. <laughs> my muscles as on uh... wait harrison you've got muscles oh uh, sorry that's harrison prime <laughs> oh right okay yeah you're ever oh, going to get confused with harrison and harrison prime and then suddenly we only have harrison prime left <laughs> <laughs> he only lasts for like 10 minutes <laughs> so at a time. and everyone likes that's harrison right. prime <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, I was, hey I was harrison just... prime's here <laughs> <laughs> like, like my shadow walk, you get you achieve twenty times as much in the same amount of time. <laughs> Ten minutes worth of Harrison Prime is worth twenty times as much. As oh, that's so cruel! <laughs> Next right. episode. Okay, so on on your way to Sandpoint, as you're darting across the countryside, uh, you do have to uh, cast it again. You find. Um, the farmsteads on the outlying areas of places that you've passed on your way up to Teleback Ferry, as you pass them, as you, the closer you get to Sandpoint, you realise there's uh, more and more devastation. Farms have been, farm houses have been collapsed in ruins. Some are have been set ablaze and long uh, burnt out. You also see um, across the farm buildings giant boulders and stones have you know which shouldn't be there in the middle of cornfields kind of thing obviously have trails along the way they've crashed into certain bits and pieces trees torn out of the roots and knocked over and then finally uh, as, as you... we go past the trees sorry yep would i know how long it's been since they have been uprooted hours hours, hours. not okay. days hours it literally right. is a matter of hours and then you see more and more devastation uh, as you get to Sandpoint. When Sandpoint often is in the distance, you actually spot um, plumes of smoke rising off in the distance. What would you like to do? So Approach the- with caution. The, the spell will uh, will end the spell about a mile away from Sandpoint, so we're not just warping into the middle of something that's that's happening. So I'll, I'll end I'll end the spell about a mile away, and we'll uh, rematerialize back to our normal three dimensional selves. <clears throat> okay, looks like the attack is already underway. Uh, I, I guess we need a plan. <clears throat> Yeah. Do we head? Yeah, do we do we start a party? Do we um, you know, some of us try and uh, come out 
the, the, the attacking force from behind take them by surprise, take a bit of the pressure off of the town. Or uh, and then another party make their way inside the town and, and clear out some of the attackers. I, I don't know. I, I I can I can fly. Um, I know you can fly as well, Yelena. I, anyone else? I could probably get on top of any rooftops and uh, strike from above. Maybe I'd be more sneaky. We'd have to be closer. Than walking out on the streets. We have to be closer to flying though, the lives. Although we can only do it for about a minute, or I can only do it for about a minute. Uh, yeah, I can. I can do it for for five minutes. I can walk up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll if, surprise them. That'll that surprise them. Out. Yeah. I mean, or or I could fly on Tolkus's shoulders. That's another. <laughs> <laughs> or I can pick you up and t- drop you somewhere. There is that. Uh, not that I can cause as much devastation as uh, Elias there, probably. Well, oh, Tolkus. The, the the people that um that are going inside, I guess the key there is is maybe not to to cause desolation and destruction. Maybe oh yeah, of course. But... We we need to find out what the giants are looking for. They're looking for something, and we 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 may need to take the sneaky approach and find it first. Even though we ourselves don't know what it is, uh, it's think, going to be a hard task, Elias. I think, as we discussed uh, earlier, um, it may be key to the lighthouse. So maybe, maybe a party needs to sneak to the lighthouse and and see see what's there, if anything, in the rubble. Uh, and I then those of us that can do as much damage, yeah, we we take on some of the attackers from the outside. So I, I guess. Myself, Torcus, uh, would would form that part of the party, and then uh, the the more sneakier ones, uh, you know, you go the stealth option and, and try and get in the town. Are, are you not sneaky, Elias? I, I, I am, but I, I think we need my um, every effect spells, should we say, to get as many people as possible, and I'll, I'll let Torcus take on the big guys. Okay. Um, Dave, from what Harrison remembers of Sandpoint, is there a clear path to the the lighthouse from the rooftops of the buildings in Sandpoint? No. Okay. You can. It, it's it's not like a straight line. Again. Yeah, it's not a straight line. I'm going to re- consult my uh, memory map of of Sandpoint if I have still have it. Uh, sure, we we can do that. Just you know, we don't. I don't know that. Well, is, is Harrison on the person I stand behind this time, or is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Rob. He might not be quite an effective meat shield as me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could okay. always bring up Harrison Prime, couldn't you? I can, and he'll defend me. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, With um, his life, <laughs> his dying breath, he I, will. I actually, uh, I, I, I prayed today, and I have three of him now. Um... <laughs> oh, that's that's I, an awful I, thought. <laughs> is, like it, is this some? Do we need to do some kind of intervention, Rob? No, is well, you, you know, about... we've got a bit more powerful, and I can do it many times per day. Like, you know. And I, 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 this time I chose to take it three times <laughs> because it's, yeah, I, I foresaw a situation like this where Tolkien would run off on his own with Elias and <laughs> on a romp. Are we eloping, <laughs> Elias? <laughs> Hang on, so Rop's got three Harrison primes. We've got Elias running off with Tolkus. Harrison, I guess it's you and me. Sorry. Let's. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think we can do that, uh, Elias. I think that's an okay plan. Um, so where where would we be going to the centre of town? You, you need to head to the lighthouse. You need to find a, a way into the town. You know, past the giants or past the attacking force, um, and then head to the lighthouse. I, I... Okay. <clears throat> Let's have a go. See, see, it seems logical that that is 
where they're going to look for whatever it is they're searching for. That's that's a Thessalonian relic. And as um, as Baal said, they uh, they built the Thessalonian relics. It sounds like a club. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, so who's going first? Or well, the club himself. Well, <laughs> should, should, should myself and Tolkien create enough of a diversion to maybe uh, create a gap? That you, you can sneak in. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Harrison, non prime, will uh, <clears throat> lead the, uh, the way. <laughs> So you're you're basically just walking down the middle of the road. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna be using my uh, if I can find a point to use my grappling hook to raise. Yeah. You to have to you have ground. to get to the front gate of the town first. And and where are we entering from? The north. This, so you're you're north. coming you're walking south. You're coming from the north area. Okay. There's a gate. So so we're coming up Lost Coast Road. Yeah. And yeah, north gate. It is. Have we seen the north gate yet to know if it's open or closed? No, because you parked up a mile back. Okay, fine. Um, could we not use? You can walk up about cover? like five hundred meters, right? Yeah, you can. You can. You know, yeah. be doing the whole kind of superhero Avengers walk. You know. Yeah. It's no slow, one's right? going to stop us now. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Right, we need. We need a, an explosion behind us. Can you sort that out? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be fine until the Monty Python foot comes out the sky and squishes you. <laughs> yep. I think, was thinking that we could potentially enter through the graveyard. Uh, it may be, but you know that's a sacred point. We should maybe not <laughs> <laughs> not desecrate it. Um, <laughs> um, right. Let's 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 go s at least see the gate, see what's happened, and then maybe go at another point if we see. Okay, let's use the trees as cover. Um, yeah. Uh, let's just. Walk out, see, get our eyes on it, and then see what what's up. Yeah. Okay. So as you approach, um, the the closer you get to the sand point, you can now hear uh, the church bell is ringing. Obviously, there's a warning going on. You can see the, there's more and more plumes going up. You can hear crashing off in the distance. Um, all kinds of manners uh, of sounds, of basically sounds of destruction. You can also hear what appears to be um, some kind of war horn. Every now and then there's blasting out uh, across this, and every time you hear it, you know, the flutter of the birds picks up and, they, and off they go. So Harrison is still walking forward. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to, well, hopefully I'll just go to the team, like, Guys, let's go up, maybe up one of the walls. You can maybe not see, the front gate. You can now, you can see the front gate. The front gates have been all been smashed in. Right. Uh, there appear, there's definitely one stone giant, just as like not as big as Baal, uh, a normal kind of stone giant. Um, the grey, gangly limbs, almost tribal kind of wear clothing that, they're, that they've got on, uh, and the flat top head, very elongated, but they've kind of got their clubs. In fact, um, I can if. I will check this button, but if this works, um, there we go. It kind of works. <laughs> Got rid of all the players. <laughs> what? Um, but that is. So what? What you can see is. Um, so you look at Twitch. You can. You'll be able to see a picture of what the stone giants look like. That's just my players. Um, so again, these hulking, great stone giants, grey skins are just picking up boulders and throwing them um, up against the walls and have destroyed the main front gates of Sandpoint. And then off to one side, you see a giant who is fighting um, potentially three guardsmen around the, at, just to the side of the gate. He swats one and you hear him ah! as he goes flying off with the club, uh, flying off <laughs> into, into, into the woodlands. He yeah, backhands another that. one. Uh, slaps into a wall and then falls down and the the one remaining he's kind of uh, proper knight in shining armour he's there he's just standing there sword uh, broadsword raised heavy uh, heavy armour and he's about to get flattened <gasps> what do you wish to do? 
Uh, I how far away are we are? Uh, how far away are we from the giant? I can't speak tonight. We are we well are. Uh, only uh, only about hundred foot. You've, you've come right. up to it. You can now see what's going on. And in the background, you can hear all the crashing, the screaming. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot at uh, at that giant. Then it's about to. Um, oh yeah, me drop, too. Drop the smack down onto onto our uh, knight. So. Yeah. Uh, so it, these these giants are quite tall, aren't they? Um, yes, I've increased their size a little bit um, because I like to. They're about twenty foot tall. Okay, Hulking that's giants. What I'll do then is I will I will basically do a do an airburst fireball um, at oh, head height. Nice. So if it's twenty foot tall because that's twenty yeah. foot. Uh, uh, but first, it, it should hit the the guy at ground level. So I'm I'm gonna try and drop fireball so it hits. I try and try and hit more than the one, but I want to do it at head height so it doesn't hit the knight. Okay. So can you make me a reflex open throw, please? A reflex. Ooh. Uh... I can't even quickly do that in my head, so I'm like, I've got 31. <laughs> 31, right, 31. okay, then you passed. Yeah. Surprising, but annoying. I've got, got my new cards. <laughs> nice. Oh, Steve's head's disappeared. Steve's head's disappeared, and, and, and he stopped talking, there he is. <laughs> 12, 12, 12 points of damage. Twelve points half. of damage. That's that's the half value. You pass that. It's half damage. You take twelve. Okay. Thank you. Um, this is a, you say this shot. is a fireball. Yeah. Yep. So the fireball explodes <laughs> off to his head, pff, right next to his ear. He takes partial damage because he's really good at reflex, uh, but it does put him off from hitting the the, the, the stranger who's dressed it as a knight below. He's like, looks over. Oi, you! I'll have you. And he just literally picks up a stray boulder and he throws it at you. Hey. Okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, oh, and again. Uh, 37 to hit. Uh, yeah, that, that's a hit, so I'll attempt to phase out and uh, avoid some of the damage. Okay. Don't, don't phase out. And that's uh, 23 points of damage as this boulder comes hurtling through um, and anyone who happens to be in splash radius of Elias happens to be standing right next to him, you will get half damage as well. <coughs> How much was that, Dave? Sorry, half? 20. No. Um... It was 23 in total, I think it was. Uh, yeah, 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 just quite 11. What do you wish to do? Um, could I take a pot shot with my bow? You can. You can aim and fire. Yeah. Um, and please forgive me because um, I completely forgot to write it down. But I think um, last week we picked up some sort of special arrows. We got were... twelve did. plus one giant's bane arrows. That's the one giant's bane. What does that do then? Well, <laughs> well I'll, I'll yeah. find out. You, yeah. you, you, Thank you. you. Shoot. I'll take a shot. <laughs> Go on then. Aim right, fire. So, Go. Yeah, I'll take a shot at him. And it's an 11 on the dice plus 18 to hit. Yeah. That's 29. It hits. Or is my mask gone completely? Right. Yeah, you're good. You're good. And the basic damage is 1d8, but I don't know what the Giant's Bane thing does. Just do cause... the basic damage. Don't, don't use it for now. <laughs> oh, well, it's, it's an 8. So, yeah. um, okay. cool. it is. Do it seems to plus, it, it hits him and it seems to one. embed in him and he howls with pain and all you see is it starts to kind of crack because he's what we've done is is rather than this, these stone giants are made of flesh we've actually made them as part of stone they've got that jerky movement the old Jason and the Argonauts kind of stop animation um, oh, brings back good all, memories. all kind of uh, stones and the eyebrows lift as it looks over but it seems to crack the stone 
where it lands, cool. where it embeds. It goes in, no problem, as if it was flesh. But then starts to crack the stone around the wound. He did not like it. Awesome. Awesome. And then you see the knight. The knight has been, he's still standing there. What would the knight like to do? You've seen this oh, a, a fireball explode in the, in the sky. The, the, the knight would like to uh, take that great sword and Show it. Throw it for the taint on this thing, the power <laughs> attack. Go ahead. Yeah. If you can roll, roll to hit for me. Great start. 24. 24 is a miss. I thought you were going to say roll a 1. Bro. 24 is actually a miss. Um, I had to roll pretty outstanding to get to 24, <laughs> considering that I have plus 21. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, so you, you, you do a huge swing. Uh, you take a miss. He's he's not he's he's completely ignoring you. He's now interested in everyone else. Anyone else doing anything? Everyone's closing the ground. What do you want to do? Uh, I've got two d six extra damage from those dice. Oh, from the arrows. Yeah, I think so. Go ahead. Uh, it's an eight. It's four and four, so it's eight. An extra eight damage. So sixteen in total. Cool. I'm gonna huck a godly spear at him. Yeah, okay. my favorite. Spear, go for it. You see Talcus get really excited in the background. Uh, that is 33 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Um, so you gotta get 27 or more to hit. 10. So that is 20 points of damage. Ooh. As uh, I chuck the spear right at him. Um, as this violet, um, violet rod comes out of my arm and starts sparking on his uh, on the surface of his stony skin, and then it just explodes into pixels or eight yeah. bit pixels. Pixels. <laughs> it's like Wreck It Ralph. Anybody else? What would you like to do? Harrison would like to run up to the big. Giant Here we go. attacking the knight. Yep. Um, and double move. It, it, uh, no, this is uh, Harrison's new and improved knockdown ah, feat. Here we go. Um, and uh, I, I need to make an attack to knock a foe off balance. But uh, so I'm going to base, basically hit, marking to hit, effectively rolling to hit. So that is uh, just shy of a twenty with a nineteen plus uh, will hit. So. I think I still deal my standard damage with the weapon, but I'm not 100% sure. So I think I'll just roll it anyway. Um, and you take uh, seven points of slashing and the four points of persistent bleed, but whether, whether or not the coming giant in. does not, may or may not be taking that bleed damage because it probably it will. can't bleed. It, it, don't worry about bleeding. I worry about bleeding. Okay, sure. Uh, you just so remind I, me on I, your turn. But what I have to do now is, if it hits and deals damage, I can attempt to make an athletics check to trip the creature I hit. So I'm now going to try and trip it. You probably can't trip a giant. <laughs> unless you try got... anyway. <laughs> unless you can hold on to his, his ankle, maybe. Yeah, unless you've got the Titan wrestler um, skill. Yeah. Are you just going to run around it with your grappling hook? Yeah. So I will try anything I can. Slowly. So I, I rolled a, a 17 plus. He hasn't five. seen that. I bet he hasn't. <laughs> Probably <laughs> hasn't. He's not denying five. it. <laughs> 35 for that athletics check. <laughs> he has no idea what it means. <laughs> Star Wars, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I said that again. Which... <laughs> 35. 35. 35 for an athletics check. Yeah, that's To fine. attempt to trip the creature. Uh, nice, nice roll. That's a that's a good roll. Well, somehow, then you by you let's say you use the grappling hook rope, you manage to um, uh, trip him over. So one handed with my, my one weapon, grappling hook in the other. Yeah. Uh, ring it round his his head, and I pull down and attempt to knock him off balance. That's okay. what I'm looking and, to do. And you succeed, and then you hit him. Yes. Okay. Um, but I will wait until the next turn to uh, uh, attack with with that advantage. Okay. 
Okay, so you bring um, him down. Going. He's down onto his knees and then down onto his hands. Yeah, okay, I'm, so I'm down out down of knees. actions now, unfortunately. Oi, you little shit. I want to have you next. Anybody else do anything? Yeah, I would like to point my staff at him and fling an acid arrow. Okay. He's, he's now flat-footed, I believe. Or, mm -hmm. well, now prone, effectively. Oh, he's not me. prone. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it's me. Uh, so, 15... 26 to hit. 26 misses. Damn it. Okay, that was pointless then. Hopefully, as long as it doesn't hit the uh, the knight. No, if you rolled a I mean, one, you probably would have hit Harrison. I would probably have re-rolled it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised right. you didn't just make me hit Harrison anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it right. tracks. Um, okay, he is going to... Uh, so now he's... He, he's He's picking himself up off the floor. He's going to do a strength check uh, to break your rope. I got 28. If you want to do a, just do a strength I'll, contest. I'll, oh, yeah, I'll do a contesting to hopefully keep This should be good. 17 plus uh, 18 Two. is another 35. Oh, well done. Wow. I'll that, take it all back. That rope is really strong. <laughs> Still See, giving man, it a good you're tug. Carrying, man, you're holding on to this rope, holding <laughs> the giant down onto the ground. So Eric, what would you like to do? This man, this myth, this guy <laughs> with a glove on his head has come to your rescue and kind of hogtied a giant in Almost. front of your eyes. Oh, oh. <laughs> what would you like to do? Yeah, good job, uh, Harrison. Well, it, it, it seems at a disadvantage, so the best time to attack would be now, I would think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go for it. As this knight is attacking, I will salute the the knight as, uh, as he's doing. As he's, as well he's... met, good sir. <laughs> what was that? That was, that was excellent. <laughs> Rogi, I really don't appreciate very much, but in this case, I'll take it. Um, that is a thirty-four. Thirty-four hits with a power attack. Yep, roll for your damage. Nice. And so that's 3d12, because it's a power attack. Oh. Um, so says 23, 27, plus 8, 35. Nice. Lovely. Solid. Well, that's what we like. Very Taste nice. Taste the blade of sharp hammer. And as, as he's he yells kind, out. As he's kind of hogtied, uh, you, you can... How would you like to finish him off? Yeah. <laughs> Do we go with the PG version or no, the no, no. R-rated? Uh, no. uh, then it's that's if it's a giant, it's got to be the taint. This is the green school of finished in giants. <laughs> the taint and, and twist. And <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Okay. And pull. You, 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 <laughs> you have dispatched a stone giant. Well, we went done. X rated for a sec there. The standpoint Empire Strikes Back, Sir Eric. <laughs> sir Knight. Well met, sir. Uh, are there are there more giants about us immediately or is this the No, you can you de you saw them literally march in. Some have gone to the left around the side of the town, some collapsed, um, you know, the ones who stood there that you were fighting have since demolished the gate entrance and have continued on into the town. So you can either go left or you can go in through the main gate. And everyone else kind of uh, comes I, if they want to come forward they're like they're welcome to come forward yeah yeah we, we may as well proceed dear les uh, I, 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 agree. I am I think certainly glad is... to see you as much as yeah. much fun as fighting the the giants themselves are there are more than enough to go around how many are there i'm sorry how many were there that came in um more than i could count but i in truth, I cannot count very high. More than ten? <laughs> Possibly, yes. There was one among them that was uh, particularly vocal and seemed to be the, the head strategist. And indeed, he did much strategizing and led them around the left of the town. 
uh, along the river towards around the walls. He had, he was, you, you'll know him when you see him. He is, he is large and distinctive and, and ugly and, and has a cod piece of a dragon skull. Mm. Well, that's, that's a fashion is, statement. Is odd in, in, in many ways. <laughs> sounds like the leader, alas. This sounds like the one we should be heading for. Will, will it fit me? <laughs> Will you take up your entire body? Well, you could fit in it. Yeah. <laughs> probably I, smell a bit cheap. Yeah, I'm not but... sure I'd want to. Um, but uh, anyway, they, they haven't hired any slackers then. If they hired you, you seem pretty competent. <laughs> well, they, they had a limited budget, so the, 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 they hired a few good ones and sort of filled in the cracks with the, the, the lower level ones. Yeah, the, the, the guy that we. He, he, he went off. I just point to the one that got like <laughs> golf, golf batted into the sunset. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud you um, said golf bat. That's awesome. <laughs> golf batted into the sunset. You know what I mean? Uh, baseball batted into the sunset. I just go. Yeah, he, he did. He, you seem a lot more hardy than that one. <laughs> yeah, it, indeed. It's it's a pity the bard. I don't know what happened to our bard. He would have made a good song of that. I'm sure. <laughs> He may he may have gotten squashed as well. If you if you hear a loot, that's him. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'll I'll try and look out for it over the sound of the church bells and the screaming. Um. <laughs> you, you certainly you certainly picked a good day. There is there is glory here and honorable deaths for any who want one. <laughs> uh, Dave is mm -hmm. is left the way that some of them went. Is that towards the lighthouse? No. It's straight ahead, is it? The, the left will take you to, um, if you remember, there's a stream, uh, yeah. the river, and then that leads you out into into what basically what becomes the docks of Sandpoint, um, which is is open. So if you're um, for normal human sized, it might be difficult. There's a couple of bridges there. For the giants, they can just walk across. So if some went straight ahead and some went left, I mean, if we're still thinking that they're heading towards the lighthouse, would it, that be the straight ahead direction? It would be the straight ahead direction, yes. If you want to unless go to the lighthouse, straight ahead. If you want to go to the river, then it's Unless it's not left. where they're right. heading. All right, mm -hmm. stick to plan. Me, Harrison and Yelena go left. Yeah. Well, no, you need to go to the lighthouse. Okay. Oh, yes. Right. Straight well, on. Is that near to the centre of town? That that's straight on. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I think myself, our friend the knight, and and Torbus, we, we need to go left, and we need to find the majority of the giants and keep them away from you. Hmm. So Eric, okay. it is your name, yes? It is indeed, Sir Eric of Slowhammer, and this, this my is... blade is sharp hammer. It's good to meet your acquaintance. Um, it's good to meet you. And your name is? My name is Tolkus. Tolkus oh. Ragnarsson. Um, did you, you said there was a leader. Uh, do you know which direction the leader went in? Uh, Sir Eric looks sideways at the DM. <laughs> <laughs> did he go straight ahead or left? The, the leader went left. The leader went left. So mo most of the giants went left because uh, the, okay. the giants he left behind was to get through the gates, was to smash the gates. And some of those made it through, didn't Some they? of those have made it through. Okay, do we, do we think he took majority off to be the distraction and sent, you know, a few to go and collect whatever it is? Or do we think that he's gone off with the majority to get whatever it is and... You know, the others are to, to cause a distraction in the middle of town. I think he's took the easiest path. Uh, so he's gone to an open area where they can move around more freely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So I, I think that they've took the majority of the of the force there. And then smaller search parties out into the more difficult parts to, to, to find what they're looking for. Because they may not know where the lighthouse is or whatever building <clears throat> they're looking for. While you're <clears throat> talking, you hear another <clears throat> blow on the horn. It's very kind of which, deep. There's two notes. Which direction does it come from? They were doing a, do a, a, a. I was going to say inception check. An inception check. <laughs> yeah, but you got to keep doing it over and over again. Yeah. But uh, I've rolled an eighteen plus 
Uh, 18 plus 18. Uh, yes. So to you don't exactly pinpoint it, but it's definitely from the middle or the middle to the left side of town. Okay, okay. Does this affect the plan, Elias? We are we still going left? We are going left. Okay. We are going after the leader. What worries me is the description of the leader. He's wearing a dragon head for a, a, a codpiece. The letter said that the giants would be here with a dragon. Uh, maybe that is his name. Maybe. maybe he defeated a dragon in his past. Has the scholars his codpiece? Bad choice of fashion, in my opinion. But, he, you know, now his nickname is Dragon? I don't know. No, I, I think that the, the leader we're looking for and the, and the guy with the code piece is Teractinus, who was, who was named in the letter. Uh, and my theory is that he's some sort of dragon tamer and there's a, a dragon out there on the horizon as well that hasn't yet set foot inside Sandpoint and won't until they find what they're looking for. Yes. Could that be what they were calling on the horn? You hear, um, you hear uh, a bunch of screaming and just darting out of the kind of uh, rubble gates as just one gate is just hanging off. Uh, you see a man and a woman, uh, possibly quite young in their 20s, darting out. They, they both kind of look uh, disheveled, you know, dirt, soot on their faces and everything as they come kind of come running out. They're slipping on the floor. They're looking at the dead guards all around them. Just faces are in shock. Um, and they see you and they just scream at you and continue to, to run run off, saying they're in there, they're, they're, they're taking people, they're eating people, okay. they're smashing the houses, mm -hmm. they're burning them. Right. We need to go. Harrison, Yelena, sneak as much as you can, but I'm, let's go to them. <laughs> yeah. Let's go straight and see where we get to. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to uh, put up the invisibility cloak. <laughs> Uh, the cloak of Elven kind. All right, Potter. And start. Uh, <laughs> He's a wizard. Start. He's a cleric, Harry. <laughs> it's it's this this whole this is a great example of why thinking is a problem. Here we are, still at the gates. <laughs> yep. So I have a sword. There are things to stab. We should go. Yes, I agree with Sonic. Let's let's go. And Tokus goes to the giant that's dead and grabs the arrow out of his chest and puts it back in the quiver so okay. ha harrison i always forget to do that harrison's going to do something he's never done before um and he's going to Walk press the right. into, into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to press in the middle of his leather uh leather uh armor which has the symbol of the uh the glove on it and uh this is my invisibility leather that uh, i believe will be activated as i press the um um the button or at least i'm the... sorry i just imagined <laughs> that the, the the thing on his head yeah just <laughs> <Bloink. laughs> like stands to attention and so this, Char this charlie this is this is uh the man the myth harrison became a crime fighter during this campaign <laughs> and we tried to work out what his crime fight you know what he looked like you know like batman daredevil whatever yeah yeah and then, I don't know who came up with it, but someone said, put a marigold washing glove over his head. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's a rubber glove on his head. <laughs> so he's now... now oh, like, that's, 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 that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> now, Josh, is this actually armour of invisibility, or is this kind of an Empress New Clothes type situation? <laughs> it, we have to pretend that you've gone invisible. <laughs> don't uh, tell him! Uh, <laughs> this is not wow. the plot from uh, Mystery Men, where uh, don't, don't look at me and I will become invisible. Yeah. But um, uh, it, it is the. Uh, a rune <laughs> has been in, imbued to be invisible on this leather armour. Uh, I love the way you've seen like this, Mystery right? Men. But he hasn't seen Lord of the Rings. <laughs> like, Mystery Men's the most obscure movie ever. But that, that, oh. That's a really random reference as well. You just, you just, just unrolled it without, yeah, with no flaws. Yeah, no stuttering, no nothing. Oh dear. Anyway, so um, yes, yeah, so I press the uh, the button, as it were, um, and uh, Harrison is now invisible. Cool. Oh, I really can't see you, brother. You are invisible. <laughs> Quick, play along, it's... people. <laughs> Start. <laughs> Elaine okay. is just going to look around and go, well, fuck. So Harrison <laughs> disappears. Um, and I'm going to make my way down the to 
the the not left way. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna go through the destroyed gate, basically. Yeah. Seemingly and on the... his own, you've got this you know, well, little not, little halfling rump. He's like, I'm gonna be brave, a hero. Brave, so Elaine, yeah, Elaine yeah. is following along. She rolled a thirty-one on her stealth. Okay. So you pick your way through the this huge opening of a of a doorway. It's the two giant double doors with the gatehouse. It's all been destroyed. And before you, you see um, the, the street, there's houses and buildings on either side of the roadway. Uh, there are street lanterns that have just been ripped out of the ground. Some houses, the roofs, have just been caved in completely. The front of these buildings have just been caved in. Some have uh, bodies <coughs> laying in the doorways of, uh, of humans. There's no giant bodies around anywhere. Um, and it just looks like devastation down this whole road. And this particular street is is empty. You know, they, they came through here and pretty much um, dis destroyed it. So are we are we, which are we heading towards any major landmarks where we've seen? You're heading towards before? the church. This road okay. continues south. It will take you to the church. Cool. That's thematic for Rup, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah. We'll continue on. Okay. Let's see if we find any giants. What's, well, uh, Tolkus, Eric, <laughs> Elias. <laughs> see if you find any giants, Rob, you know, because they're so hard to see. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, our DM hasn't described any yet, so obviously we haven't it, seen any. He did show you a picture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, a we, picture, and I'll describe what they look like. Can we but, kill one? Yeah, yeah. but as, as in uh, any more giants, you know? Yeah. I mean, uh, we haven't, we haven't seen one since. Yeah, no matter. Uh, right, so we're heading left. Okay, we're going to make so... as much noise as possible. Mm. Um, Banging drums, whatever. You're going to make noise, did you say? Well, we, uh, when we encounter them, we're going to start making noise by, by laying waste to them as much as possible. Okay. Um, and, and, and keep everyone away from Rupp uh, and, and Harrison and Yelena. Mm. So when, when, when we... When we we're going to move left. When we get within visual range of some giants, I'd like to then cast enlarge on both uh, Sir Eric and Tolkus. Don't worry, haste. he means our whole body. <laughs> <laughs> and and haste on uh, Sir Eric and Tolkus as well, and just send them into battle while I stay Ooh. at a safe range. This could be uh, good. Still, okay. still, still, still three foot tall or something. So you <laughs> totally great. You go from the gate uh, that you're facing, you go, you follow the town uh, on the outside of the town, around the left. Um, and at the start of it, where the gate is, it has a very strong wall. Um, after about 100 yards, it, it, goes, it falls down into kind of wooden barricades. And as it can, continues on along the river, it just disappears completely. And then you get to the river, you see the two uh, footbridges have pretty much been destroyed. That's to cross for, to the other side. Um, and in front of you, you see four giants, but with them, they're accompanied by um, three very large bears. But these bears are, oh, I'll bring up a picture as well. Uh, these bears are slightly different. They have um, these kind of stone uh, outcroppings coming out of their skin, uh, while the stone giants here, pretty much the same. Uh, as the as the guy at the at the front gate, you've got this very much tribal leather wear over their stone skin, flat top heads, each carrying um, clubs either made of wood of tree trunks or of stone, with uh, again stone embedded in them, or they could even be teeth. Reminds me of Doomsday. Yep. So you've got four giants and three dire bears. I think this could be Elias. I think this could be a difficult fight, even if me and Sir Eric are twice our normal size. Got any other tricks up your sleeves? So Eric, what would you like to do? Is there a bard who could record this for us? It'll be an honorable death. <laughs> uh, I, I can I can summon uh, a fire elemental. Uh, to aid us in our combat, um, I can. I can 
make the area difficult for them. Uh, I, I can capture those three bears, for example, in a, in an area of tentacles. Sounds that, good. Try and try and slow them down. I, I think you and Eric need to concentrate on the giants. Um, Sir Eric, do you have any way of attacking at distance? I do. I have an arrow when I'm when I'm compelled to use one. I'm personally thinking... the frontal assault for me is the, the the my real main tactic. Me too, but usually. But uh, I'm thinking in this instance we should try to get as many arrows off as we can before we engage. I, I'll, I'll bow to your, uh, your your party. Seems to have a, a good a good work ethic here. I'll, I'll I'll bow to that. So if we if we stop. Uh... 100 feet before we get to them. That is the range of my bow. Sounds can I, good. Can I make a suggestion? We, we stop 100 feet away. I cast in large, I cast haste. You take one volley shot and then you charge. They're going to do much more damage with boulders uh, and their range is longer than you're going to do with uh, with, with arrows. This is a good point. You make a good that, point, Elias. That's the frontal assault. We can just charge in there. I don't mind either way, really. We can, we can get one fully off, and then and then you yeah. need to charge, and we yeah. need to distract them. I, I mean, it depends how close we can get. If we sneak up and get as close as we can to get in range of melee without wasting time you hear if you get what i mean you hear again coming out from the middle of the town another um war horn we need to go now we need to go now let's, yeah. let's just go for it so I, let's I, just cast, go. I cast enlarge on both of them i cast haste on both of them and we just charge <laughs> i'll charge a quick <laughs> healing potion before we go just so put me at maximum hit points again okay, okay. That's one. Uh, two, so, did you enlarge them or did you just haste? Both. Okay. So, so I, Eric, I have scrolls, so I've done it off scrolls. How big are you making them? Tw yeah, twice their size. Okay, so, so they become large creatures. Yeah, this is enough to get me. To so, so, so Eric is already a large man anyway. Plus, he's clad in the armor, so he goes up to twelve to thirteen foot. <laughs> just extends. Tolkus grows up as well beside him, and they both um, precisely fourteen feet tall. Yep, because um, I'm six foot six, and it double, don't you? And then so Eric and Tolkus kind of look at each other, and uh, a big grins come on their faces as the bloodlust kicks in and charge in to four stone giants. And Elias sits back and goes. Mm. <laughs> Tokus tends watch to his. say Eric and Tokus tends to say Eric and say this is going to be fun my friend <laughs> it is indeed the glory of battle is upon us okay you, you're you're going to dislike me in a minute anyway so I, I'm, I'm just preparing you for that uh, both of you uh, roll initiative for me please uh, Charlie is um... do you want me to roll initiative as well uh, yes, please. I'll put you in the, in the loop. Perception. <coughs> yeah, it's per add, add your perception, Charlie. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to do math and failing. Yeah, me yeah. too. Uh, <laughs> a lot. Yep. 18 plus 19. Cool. 37. 37. Nice. I thought I did well. 35, but that's good. Nice one. Thanks. I, I got 35 as well. 35. Right. Okay, Same. I'll put you last. Okay, and I'll do one roll for all of them. Oh. Ooh, okay. Right, Eric followed by Tolkus. Sorry, Sir Eric followed hey. by Tolkus. Um, you rush up, you've got, you basically have uh, your pickings, two giants each. Go for it. That's good. I don't like to share. You can, so you can roll to hit. Uh, power attack. Go for it. Seems to be my the go-to thing. So that's uh, 30. 30 to hit. Hits. Roll your damage. Roll my damage. Uh, uh, 29. 29. Yep. And we're off. Okay. 
Uh, uh, two seconds, sorry. I need to tell you what Enlarge does. I, I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, just besides, okay. besides being visually impressive, there's more to it? <laughs> there, there, there is, yes, yeah. Uh, cool. You, Your reach goes up. Um, and you gain a plus two status bonus to melee damage, so that that twenty nine is thirty one. Nice. Well done. Outstanding. Okay. That, uh, because you're haste, did you also get one extra action? Yep. So that was two actions because power attack is two actions. So, so now I two more. I have two actions left, so I could power attack again. You can. Uh, no, you can't because unfortunately yes. it's a flourish maneuver, and you can only do one of those per turn. Just so just straight twice. up attack. Yeah. <laughs> So now I was going to let him have it because it was like, come on. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's because I'm a fighter as well and, you know. Okay, so this, if I spend my first two for first two actions as a power attack, is this, is this a third action with the subsequent negative or is it, it the negative five? Depends. Do you have furious focus? No. I do oh, not. Then, then, yeah, it counts as two attacks. So the, the second attack you do will be a minus 10 penalty instead of okay. minus five. Fair enough. So that is a 26. 26 is a miss. And you, you, you can do one more attack because we, we also do a minus 15 if, if you want. It's not in the rules, but we do it. He, he's going full frontal. Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he missed. It didn't work. It's, it's worth We're trying. We're just going to pretend because, like it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, it's worth trying because if you get a natural 20, it's, it's right. probably That's still going to hit you. Tolkis, yeah. you're up for the by Elias. Right, Tolkus steps up and he's got his even more huge axe in his hand than normal, and yep. it's glowing with the blue um, ice coming off of it. Yeah. And he goes up to. Uh, did you say the chieftain guy was there? No. No, he goes up to the one standing next to the one that Sir Eric's just attacked. Yeah. Well, basically, you've got you've got two apiece. Okay. Yep. So you're 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 in, you're bigger. They've seen you. Like, ooh, could be a, a worthy target. And they've, they've they've both come over to you, and um, and he he charges in towards them, and he raises his axe above his head, and he says, "You're gonna die," <laughs> and he's gonna do a power attack. Funnily enough, go ahead. Uh, you stole my move. <laughs> I've got to do maths now, and I don't like doing maths. The numbers. Oh. Okay, let me do it in my head. 38 to hit. That's fine. And it's going to be one of them, one of them, one of them, and then roll that one twice. So it's 8 plus 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 4. 29. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 3. Yep. 6, oh, sorry, what's yep. that? 29. 29. Right, so um, I will take... plus 2. Yeah, and that's with a downward swing. And then he basically kind of like just twists the handle in, the, in his hands mm -hmm. and brings it back up in exactly the same motion, but in reverse. So it would look like a... That sort of thing. And... Um, I have Furious Focus, so I only get a minus five for this one. So it's 19 on the dice, plus 22 to hit. Yeah. Um, is that still it? Yes. Over 30. That's, that's, that's 41. Yep. Oh, I forgot to add that two damage to that last one. So 31 damage for the first strike. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Uh, nine. And not a 12, an 11, 6, and 4. 30. A plus a 2 is 32. 32. Yeah. Oh, dear. Um, okay. So that that is my third action. So I've got one action left. So I'll yep. take an attack at a minus 10. Yep. And it's a 17 on the dice, so that's 7. 17. Plus 22. Yep. Which is 29. Yep. Does Another. that hit? 29 hits, yep. You got. You just got to get 27. Yeah, it means I hit them on a 6. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> oh, I've got 112. 112, 1-1. One, one. <laughs> 4 and a 4. 23. 
Nice. Yeah. Cool. Nice one. Okay, Elias, you're up, followed by me. Okay, so I, I, I'm a bit disturbed because the, the dream that I had while we was resting last night and I was wearing my spells had to be transported away to this strange tower where I get annoyed myself because I couldn't work out how to get round the trap that had these swinging barrels going backwards and forwards. <laughs> Um, so annoyed at that, I suddenly realised that, hang on, we're fighting creatures that are made of stone. So I'm going to whip out a secret arsenal, and I'm going to go transmute rock to mud on one of the stone giants. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm going that to melt him harsh. into a puddle of mud. Okay. Is there any saving throw on that? Well, this is your judgement, because technically the spell says you transform non-magical, unworked and unattended stone in an area into equal volume of mud. Yeah, but it sounds cool, though, doesn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, it, it, and also it, it does. <laughs> so but, if if I if I was to do that on a ceiling, for example, and drop mud onto somebody's head, that would do eight d six bludgeoning damage. So yeah. if you, I mean, if you want to decide that it's eight d six bludgeoning damage uh, with a reflex saving throw to take off, then then that, I'm happy with that. Um, you so you cast a spell. What I want to know is which one. Is it someone that has already been hit by Eric or Tolkus, or one of the fresh ones? Uh, one of the fresh ones. I mean, I've seen uh, Tolkus so, go to town on one of his ones, um, so I'm going to go for the undamaged one that would be facing off against Eric. Okay, so you cast uh, a spell? I'm, yeah, I'm going to cast a spell. Uh, and I, yeah. Target his legs. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go for the knees, yeah. and I can do two adjacent 10-foot squares, which I'm hoping he's big enough to get both knees. So what I'm going to try and do is melt the lower half of his legs so he goes prone. Okay. So awesome. you cast a spell, and so Eric is busy fighting the first giant, but he notices the, the, the second giant just kind of crashes down onto his legs as his bottom half of his legs literally dissolve into mud. And again, just literally as if it, it can't hold any weight. It's just liquid, um, brown liquid. <laughs> oh. uh, oh. As he goes down, and as he's laying on the ground, the it spreads from his knees up to, up to his uh, up to his hips, around his hips, and then basically his whole body just goes <laughs> in a big splash <laughs> of mud. Awesome, Steve. I, I really. I have I have scared him to death. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well done. I, you turned him to shit, Elias. <laughs> thank, thank you for letting me do that, Dave. That's right. right, now's my go. I've got one less. That was epic. Um, that's that's, uh, that's pretty great. Yeah. Right, we're going to go for Sir Eric first. He lashes back after he's been been hit by you. He's got his club. Um, and it is... Oh, dear. That is a... Man, big numbers. Uh, it's a 40 to hit. Um, Just which, barely got which, it. It, yeah. it does. Yeah. Uh, that one. And that one. Ooh. Okay, as the club comes crashing back down towards you, um, you take 36 bludgeoning damage. But you manage to, you manage to um, stay stay standing you take the blow okay that's the first hit <laughs> 31 oh yeah. is that with the minus five dave uh, that is with a minus five nice try <laughs> uh, that's, that's 20 that's 22 damage so uh, on the okay. on the second one, um, and the third attack does miss. It's always, usually the third attack does does miss quite a lot. Yeah, it's always worth um, doing though, because like I said, if you roll a natural twenty. Yeah, the one attack in Tolkus, uh, you've done a lot of damage to it. He doesn't oh, like it, so he swings back. He does like a baseball stance. He powers it up, and he kind of tries to swing and follow through. Uh, this is called the big swing. Uh, oh wow. Um, that's 41 to hit. Oh, imagine I turn around and said that missed now. <laughs> I, I know, imagine. Um, no, it doesn't miss. Okay. 
Right. This is this is this is basically going to knock you back twenty feet. I um, have um, a skill called Steady Balance. Yep. Which I would like to bring into play to attempt to, instead of getting knocked backwards, sort yep. of like slide backwards on my feet. That's and fine. not get knocked down. If so that's okay. he, he balances it up like a baseball player and he swings low to try, kind of push as much power behind it as he can. He's quite <laughs> astonished as he thought you were going to take off, but you managed to hit, take the hit, and all you do, you block it with your with your axe, is get pushed back in, in his friend the mud. <laughs> as, as, your, as your boots get covered in mud by getting pushed back. You get pushed back to 20 <laughs> feet though. Toka says, Elias, I hope that was mud and not something else. Oh, it's, it's definitely mud. Mud. Okay. And. Oh, wrong dice. And. Be a very Elias. <laughs> the three bears <laughs> come oh charging God. towards you. One of them is, is bounding across the stream. Two others have already come on, onto your side uh, of the wall and a uh, a. Uh, are running up towards you. They've already passed Sir Eric and Tolkis as they're engaged with their masters. Are you uh, sure they don't like put a paw in the river and say that? Oh, this is too hot, and the other too hot, too cold. Does a professor's just been eating porridge all morning? Does a twenty-two hit you? <laughs> no. No. Does a twenty-four hit you? No. Oh. Da oh, natural twenty. Oh. Um, <laughs> Damn, does a, does so a 37 well. hit you? No. Uh, yes, I, I will uh, <laughs> attempt to use my reaction to phase out and avoid some of that damage. Okay. Uh, so the, fir the first two bears are charging along and they're trying to grab you and swipe you. You just manage somehow just to uh, evade them. And the third one is even bigger than the first two and manages to take a hit unless you do something quick. Uh, no, I... I, I... Uh, when I phase out and he, and he removes, uh, it can be some resistance to the damage. It doesn't avoid all damage, but I failed anyway, so um, okay. I'm taking the lot. It rakes you with the claws. Take 18 points of damage as it hits you with a paw. Yeah. Yep. Still up. Yep, that's fine. Um, top of the round, Eric. Uh, sorry, before you do that, what you see is as it's the start of a new round duh, 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 is you see a shadow come over the, the almost from the corner of your eye you see the shadow coming over the, the stream over the fields over the grass and um then you kind of hear this roar above you oh, as flapping oh, its wings is a huge dragon Flies oh. over the town, completely above your head. I'm really regretting switching out Earth Bud right now. The, uh, the <laughs> both of the giant, sorry, the three giants who are still standing in front of you, all kind of like cheer and roar. Oh, yeah, that get them now, yeah, poxy humans. They they have air support. They have air support. <laughs> and you just see it, you just see it fly from from where your viewpoint is. It's just gone over the roofs. You can't even see it anymore. It's, it's on the other side of the town already. What would you like to do? Uh, I guess I'm going to attend to the business at hand, which is the, the, the giant in front of me. Yep. But power attack. Uh, 35. 35 hits. Okay, so that is... 10, 21, 23, 31 points of damage. That includes nice. the shield. And then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take the Hail Mary at the end. Yep. <laughs> yeah, is it a 20? <laughs> it is. Hey. Come on. Hey. Come on. More than 50 damage, that's what we want. How about that? 19. No, 21. 21 in total, and it and and then doubled. Oh, then doubled. Uh, you, you just double the dice roll, not the bonus, right? Yep. Okay, so that's uh, 22 plus the bonus is 8, 30, 32. Okay. How would you like to finish this one? Uh, lower jaw. I'm just going <laughs> to 
<laughs> a bit straw off. Back the lower jaw off. Have the rest of the head fall off. It falls off and seems to, uh, what happens with most of the stone giants, they seem to try to crack and crumble to, not to exactly to dust, but you know, the head, the body parts, the arms fall off at the joints. Um, and you just see like the dust and the pebbles as they would be. It just crumbles down lifeless in front of you. Well done. All right. He's doing well. Is that, is that, doing well. Is that two head now? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you, you still have an action? Uh, no, you used no, a power don't. attack, didn't you? Um, yeah. Tolkus. Uh, Tolkus is really, really angry now because he got pushed back into the mud. Yep. Um, so he's going to basically lunge forward with the axe, like, you know, proper lunge with it towards the uh, giant and um, take out his vengeance, right, with a power attack. Oh, it's 18 on the dice, plus 22 to hit. That hits, yeah. And he's going to take... Uh, that is an 11 and a 8. Yeah, that, yeah, 8. A 2. A 4. How, how roll you, one more dice. How 5. You, how do you want it, to finish it? number wang. Um, <laughs> well, because I've lunged forward... Um, I reckon I was quite low when I hit him. So the the head of the axe just basically cleaved his crotch in half. Yeah. And you continue and, under and then you've got another yeah. the other giant. And, to and take I've on. slid underneath him and in the mud. Like just, yeah. <laughs> and he's and as I've gone underneath he's just crumbling. I, I on top of me sort of thing. I'm just standing there going. <laughs> okay, so you're now pretty much completely covered in rock dust and mud. Oh, you... mud's only from the sort of bottom half of the yep. legs, though, because I didn't fall over. Yeah. Um, so. And the last giant the one... is standing there. Yeah. Was is he close enough to me to attack him? Yep. But do I have to move at all? You you'll move a little bit. You will take a couple of steps. But to hit not him. a proper. Oh, okay. Then I'll attack that one at the uh, minus five. Yep. Um, is oh, it's only a 10 on the dice, which means I'm going to miss because I think earlier we said I need to roll a six because 10 minus five is five. Plus 22 uh, is 27. Oh, it's 27. 27 hits. Oh, yeah, I, my maths was crap earlier, obviously. Uh, is that a hit? It hits. Yeah, it's only normal damage, though, so don't panic. Uh, four. I'm not panicking, I've got a dragon today. A four, a six, a five, and a four. Four six five four. Four, four six five four. And, and uh, two for the extra. And an extra two. Big damage. And then with my last action, I shall attempt an attack at minus ten. And it's fifteen on the dice, so that's five plus twenty-two to hit. Uh, yeah, easy. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. That's, it. that's twenty-seven. Yeah, that hits. Yep. And he's going to take eleven Oof. plus six. Yeah. Plus four, plus four, plus two. Okay. Uh, yep, good hit. Nice. I don't like math. Um, Elias. Uh, followed by me. Off in the distance again, you hear, this time you hear both the war horn and the dragon. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so I've, I've got these the three uh, bears surrounding me, haven't I? You've got three bears oh. on you, yeah. Okay. There's the poor gnome <sighs> in the middle, surrounded by three... Three bears. ...dire bears. Just give them some goddamn porridge. They'll be fine. It's the one spell he didn't take today. Yeah, the get out, get out of, get out of crap spell. <laughs> no, you uh, did have it. Used it twice. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm gonna have to pull out my uh, wand of fire, my great wand of fire, and unleash burning hands on them, please. Um, can, I, can I, can I get all three? Uh, yeah, they were directly in front of you. Okay, so you make me a, a, a reflex saving throw, please. Uh, uh, fail. I got two. 
and they're done. Okay, so it's it's only two d six damage, but they will take six points of damage. Okay. Now each of them, you can hear them roar because they don't like fire. Because it burns their skin. They're not your average bear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and and that is uh, that's about all I can do, really. Okay. Because my my spells are two actions, and I, I I'm going to take an attack opportunity if I. Uh, I don't know that actually, maybe not. But I should have thought that before, and I've done what I've done. So move on. Okay. So the giant who is attacking Tolkus. Uh, oh, natural twenty. Nice. Um, uh, twenty. Why am I saying nice one? Forty-one <laughs> to hit. Yeah, I don't know why you're doing it, but uh, yeah, forty-one to hit. Um, oh yeah, level up dice, beauty. <laughs> That's so. I think that's my biggest number yet. I got fifty. <laughs> to, oh, 50 nice damage. One. Why am I saying nice one again? Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> He uh, he's exchanged jerseys after the match. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Takes off his tribal necklace and hands it over to him. Um, All right, you, you look at him. The cork has posted the level up link in <laughs> chat, <laughs> and everybody's <laughs> buying them now. It's like yeah, oh. so your DM can also know if your party. Yeah, yeah. The um, uh, yeah, he, he he throws some profanities as he does it, but he really put some effort into this one. You felt the hit. He, it wasn't the big one that he's not using one of his uh, power attacks, which is the big swing. It's just normal attack, but yeah, there's 50 damage that as it clubs straight, catches you unawares. Uh, that's the first hit. That is a miss because I rolled another two, and that is uh, 20, 33 to hit. Oh god, yes, yeah, go on. Oh. And that is 16, 17, 18, 28 damage. Bloody hell, now you've knocked me below 100, you bugger. Yep. <laughs> Good. Now you can feel it. You took how I feel. damage and you're only just below 100. <laughs> no, well, I'm, I'm 80. <laughs> okay, and then the giants are going to go for Elias. Uh, sorry, the, the bears. Giants. Oh, that's, that's a miss. <laughs> More giants. Yeah. That is a miss. The dire bears. They're not just bears. Yeah. Uh, the bears attitude. I've, I've just kind of joined their roles together. I'm not going to roll for each one independently. Right. So that they all miss. They're all getting each other's way. Each one, they're trying to bite and claw you. And they're just the the huge so shoulders. Exactly, yeah. A barging into each other as they go into a bit of a, bit of a frenzy. Uh, plus the fire didn't help either. Top of the round. You hear again um, the war horn. And this time, as the shadow of the dragon flies over the town, you see it um, start to burn the boats in, in the dock. Just the, the, the little bits on the corner that you can see of where you're positioned in the sand point, you can start to see some of it. Um, and you hear it just kind of doing a whole flame for a burn as it fl does a fly past. Oh, like Smaug. That's yeah, Smaug, yeah. And it was, again, everything's just burning. The, some of the boats are starting to sink. Josh is sitting there thinking, what's that from? What movie is that from? <laughs> <laughs> Eric. So, Eric, what would you like to do? There is one giant standing, and there is a small blue guy behind you surrounded by three dire bears. I think Tolkus uh, is going to uh, handle the giant. So I am going to turn my attention to bears. Okay. I uh, rolled a 20. Nice! <laughs> the power attack! <laughs> Woohoo! Are these like the Berenstein bears or uh, or more evil? Dire bears, they just have extra growths coming out of them. So they're normally bigger, uh, but they have these um, bony protrusions. So wait a minute, so I double the dice on a power attack if I roll a 20? Yes. That's I, a lot. I, yep, do it. If you do, if you do a, lot, uh, a lot, I'll let you kill two bears in one go. So that's 48 plus 8 plus 2, so 58. So I think I beat you. 
Yeah, so you take out... Uh, so you run back, you see Elias, the little blue fella, is in trouble. You run back and immediately just, again, frontal assault is always your best tactic. And you cut across the hide, the back end um, of one of the bears. Pretty much instantly cleaving the hip, the hips and the hip bone off. And it just digs into the floor. It doesn't get back up again. Um, <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> nice try. Good. You, you, still so have, you still have two bears left and more actions. Yeah, so I'll take the uh, the Hail Mary shot. Okay. Not a 20. Not a 20. Still, you just need 27. Uh, sorry, not 27. Uh, you need 19 to hit. Oh, uh, and this was, it's minus 10, right? Minus 10. So close, but not, not, not enough. Okay. 18. You, you swing. Ah, oh, you swing and... Um, yeah, because they're going into a bit of a frenzy, they just seem to miss the blade. I got a little, I got a little fur off the top. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a haircut. <laughs> they, they know you're there. That's that's the the best thing. Tolkus, you have one giant remaining. Um, so I'm now furious as Tolkus gets, which isn't very much because he's a very happy go lucky guy. But um, yeah, he's just like he's growling now. He's like. Arrgh! Um, because he's had enough, so he's just going to smack this giant with all he's got with a power attack. And it's a nine on the dice plus 22, so 31. Yep. And it is that is completely the wrong dice. <laughs> uh, it is a five. A six, a three, a four, and a two. Oh, and I've got to roll one more d12 because it's power attack. And a five. 25? <laughs> okay. And, and how would you like to finish this one? <laughs> oh, this one just gets the, the what I like to call the Darth Maul, where I just chop straight through its midsection. And then for a second, it thinks, oh, that didn't even hit me. And then its top <laughs> off just slides slowly <laughs> off and hits the ground. I know that reference. <laughs> well done, Josh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that giant is... You've literally just, in in three rounds, you have uh, killed four stone giants. Well done. Yes, we should have well been Well done. Um, Practice. Do you have any more Next actions? Time, um, Yes, I've got um, three actions left. No, okay. two well, actions. You, if apologize. you want to, you've got two bears behind you. Yeah, I'll, so I'll turn around and attempt to hit one of the bears that's still standing. Yep. But at, at a minus five. And that is ten on the dice, so minus five is five plus twenty-two. Uh, hits, yep. Yeah. And he's going to take uh, five, eight, four... Plus four strength, plus two for being giant. Okay. And with my last action, I'll take a swipe at minus 10. Yeah. And it's a 14 on the dice, plus 22. Oof. So it's, yeah. I think that still hits. Yeah. Well, it it's yeah, you know, it's only going to miss on a one on over them because yeah. if they're on class it's 19. Only a for you. Yeah. yeah. And it's, uh, oh, that's decent. It's an 11 on a D12. It's a 12 on a D12. It's a four on a D6 and a four for strength and a two for being giant hulkus. Got it. You can, you can have a bear trophy. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning on wearing this one like um, Hercules wears the uh, Ninian lion, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay, you've dispatched this bear. How would you like to do it? Yeah, this one, um, it, it just, I, I, yeah, I know what I do. Yeah, I slide underneath it and actually chop upwards on the mud. So I'm on my back, slide underneath, chop up, get guts in my face, and then I stand up through the middle of its body. <laughs> and wear and it. just go, ah! Okay, so as you, you, you cleave out the stomach and you burst through the body yep. of a dire bear... And <laughs> covered in blood, blood, <gasps> blood and guts. <laughs> uh, so oh, Eric and else. Elias are like, hmm. <laughs> your, your, your tactics oh, intrigue me. 
as we're wandering people... away, Hark, do I hear a Tolkus? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, there's villagers in the distance going, Hulkus, Hulkus. <laughs> Eric, Eric. Thank you. Oh. It's so Eric to you. <laughs> true, true. I, say, I earned that title by being yeah, exactly, born to my yeah. parents. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. And Elias, you've just seen um, a, a Hulkus bursting out of a dire bear. You, you're covered in blood and guts as it rains down on you. The other two bears uh, are... Sorry, there's, the other bear is dead. You've got one bear left. See, now I'm dirty. Yeah. Just when I get dirty. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, am, am I invoking emo Elias here? <laughs> not, not, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> But Damn, it's getting he's, close. He's not, in, he's not in a stomach. Sharon, I'll try. <laughs> try harder. <laughs> we might we might get some emo advice when the dragon comes in. I, I'm going to uh, drop out my um, cookery plus two of returning. I am going to cast telekinetic projectile and do the old crawl manoeuvre. So make the blade spin as fast nice. as possible and try and do a chainsaw straight through the middle of the bear in front of me. Uh, that is hitting... 23, I think. Hang on. 23 hits. Uh, yeah, 24, in fact. Yeah. And it does... 15, 19 points of damage. Okay. It's still standing, even though it's... Bzzzed, you did a, a buzzsaw to it. It doesn't like okay. it. Um, it's definitely a hurtful wound. Uh... Right. Okay. I will. I will cast shield with my last action, and I'll just stand looking up at it, waiting for it to attack me, uh, and then I'll try and frustrate it if it does using the shield. We'll see. Okay. See if you can talk it into surrendering. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no surrender. No retreat. Uh, no surrender. Well, it doesn't know that. We don't have to honor the surrender. <laughs> does a does a twenty five hit you? No. No. Okay. And a twenty-six. No, no. Creeping okay. up. I won't worry. Won't. I'll, I'll do it. I do. I've got to get a no. Minus ten is is always bad. Um. Okay. So the bear attacks. That's what it's got. Top of the round. Uh, again, you hear the dragon fly uh, across the town, but you hear it speak. Uh, you hear it across the town, across all the all the screaming. Tarachnus, where is the stone? Find me the stone. As it continues to fly around and flap, her, flap around the, the town. Um, that's all you hear. I guess they're looking for a stone. <laughs> I love the way you said that. Joke. They've given away the game. We're all doing now. All we need to do is find a stone. So, Eric, Did... there is one bear left. Did he say stone or cone? Stone. stone. I'm looking for a stone. I, I, I bet the silly burgers of Sam Point have built it inside the cathedral or something. All right, I'm going to try volume instead of power attack here. So, uh, the first one is a 36, which hits. Yep. Uh, for 12 damage? Yep. No? Yep. Still alive? Hits. Yep. Still alive. Uh, the second one is a... Uh, Double check. 22, which hits? 22 hits. 13 damage? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you've finished another one. How would you like Yay! to do it? <laughs> Well done. I, I'll send this one off peacefully, just between the shoulder blades. Pull it back out. Is it is this a down or is this a swipe, a chop? Is this a? Mm, that sounds too finessey for me. Just. <laughs> so you you stab the great sword uh, through its body, almost impaling it to the ground because obviously you're still what fourteen foot. Yeah. Uh, fourteen fourteen foot big. Um, and you impale it into the ground. Well done. Three dire bears and four stone giants in Woo. as many rounds. That's your high well five. Done. 
Go, go team. Huzzah! Now, as we know, the giant, uh, the giant, the dragon, I was going to say the giant's been flying. The dragon's been flying around. Um, Rupp, Yelena, and Harrison, uh, as you entered the stone gate of the city and continued down the town, you see all the buildings dilapidated. You see every now and then uh, a survivor is, is running off. And then you get to the town square. The town square is from our, basically, this, if you remember, the very first zero session we ever did. This is where you had the fate. This is where you all met. This is where Tolkas fell in love with sausages. This is uh, in front of the church as well. Mm. The various market stalls are still there because it's a market day. Um, all of them have been turned over. There's fruit bits everywhere. Again, more bodies. Now you start to see ripped bodies, body parts. Strangely, where you are, though, um, there's only a scream every now and then in the, in the far distance. And then you start to hear voices. And it seems to be a stone giant is barking orders. They're, they're ripping, they're literally taking the rooftops off of some houses and then sort of striking, crashing them back down either inside the building or down into the street. Uh, they're obviously trying to find something. You can see two giants trying to um, rip the doors off the, the huge double doors off of the church. They're trying to peel their way in. One of them smacking the wall, uh, trying to, to break the stone. But the stone church is holding fast. And you can hear people screaming inside. Obviously, you know, whenever there's, a, there's trouble, people go to the, the strongest building. But you see this one giant who is bigger than all the rest. And he does indeed, I'm putting this on to the other to the Twitch screen so the audience can see. He does indeed have, <laughs> have a horned codpiece, uh, which is cool. It's not, it's not a dragon. It is actually a triceratops. <laughs> I don't know if that makes it best for you. What's yeah. the difference? I can see that guy's don't blame me for that. that. It, it, he's he's overcompensating. Pretty, pretty much, time, I think. and he's again. He's got the he's a stone giant. He's got the various markings. You can see around his neck. He's got two kind of humanoid-looking skulls, um, and he carries these huge sharpened pickaxes as weapons. Um, and he's he's barking out orders um, to the oops, wrong button. He's barking out orders to uh, two of the giants. Go on, have you found it yet? Make sure you find it. Okay, Moria needs this. And what, what uh, you see some of them do is actually, as they're finding people, they're picking them up screaming and they're putting them into giant sacks. And then they're putting them over their shoulders. Two of them start to walk off. So you've, just, you've got like uh, two giants and then Tarachnus is standing there. Um... Yeah, I would like to. Uh, so, are we about? Are we entering the square? You're entering thing? the square. Yeah. I would like to slowly walk up and break invisibility as I do, and just go. By the gods, we will defend this town, and you will die. And I, I, I uh, start to breathe out a, a, a sickening smoke towards them. And we'll find out what happens after the break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I like that, Rob. Well done. That was cool. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take, um, for everyone watching us live, we are, we're going to take a couple of minutes break. <clears throat> for those of you who don't know who Beetle and Grimm are, they make fantastic products. These kind of platinum boxes. I've got a few of them. You can see one of them behind me there. Um, and uh, a while ago, a short while ago, they did a... Pathfinder Kickstarter. This is for a Character Chronicles. This is um, a special player's manual that has all the details for each class. For your specific class, you pick a fighter, uh, the Fighter Chronicles or the Cleric Chronicles, uh, for you to enter in your character details. It is absolutely beautiful. They did a trailer for it. I'm going to play the trailer now while we nip off, get a drink, get some snacks. And when we come back, you can ask Charlie all about it. Fantastic. Oh. Right. We will see you in a minute. Bye. See you in a bit. Hi. My name is Matthew Lillard. You've probably seen me in many 
a horrible movie back in the 90s. Can we start again? It's me, Matt! Hi, I'm uh, major motion picture star Matthew Lillard. Uh, hi. All right, Sam, I'm Matthew Lillard. <laughs> What's the line? You just do whatever the fuck. I almost had it. I got a booger on my shirt. What's the first line? I was in terrible movies during the 90s. You grew up on them and you watched them, sucker. My name is Matthew Lillard. You may know me as Beetle from Beetle and Grimm's. Last couple of years, our company is focused primarily on the DM, creating battle maps, in-world handouts, jewelry items, and of course, stuffed animals. Now it's time to focus on you, the players. Because when we gather around a table, we're not there to hear a story, we're there to tell a story, all of us. And sometimes that story goes on for years and is remembered only on coffee-stained scraps of paper or three random journals. But worst of all, it's in your head. And why is that bad? Because I'm not that smart. Bill's way smarter than me. When he says it's Grimm that killed the frost giant that was on its way to destroy the town, I can't really argue with him because I don't have it on a journal. And if I had it in a journal, sitting on a bookshelf, you could just say, hey, check out my journal. We all know the problem with a journal. In a real game, when are you gonna use that thing? On a real night of gaming, you bounce from a core rule book to the advanced player's guide, and of course your character sheet. And the entire game goes like boom, to boom, to boom, to boom, to boom, 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 boom. You never go back to this thing. And again, the story is only in your brain, and Bill's telling you that he is the real champion. But what if? Stay with me here. What if, Charlie? Charlie, thanks. What if we created a single book specifically tailored for your character class? And what if it had an enormous character sheet to record every detail of your character, every stat, every strength, weakness, magic item, enemy, ally, even your familiar, and then took all the official Pathfinder rules, the spells, feats, and skills that you need for your class and your class only, and combined that with an expansive journal to capture your story. And obviously, it's only useful if it's on heavy paper to handle the years of wear and tear, and bound on a lay-flat binding so you can use every inch of it. And of course, us being us, we add amazing artwork from across the Pathfinder universe, as well as our own custom pieces commissioned specifically for this book. And that's why I'm here today, to introduce you to Beetle and Grimm's complete character chronicle. Character sheet, rule book, journal, all in one. The tools to tell your story and the pages to preserve. If my story had been included in one of these, I'm pretty sure that Beetle, the greatest dungeon delver ever, would have been the true hero of the group. Not Bodum, not Tanner, and definitely not Grimm. Because it all would have been written down. The incontestable truth. Or at least, a well-documented lie. Which is just as good. I'm Matthew Lillard, and we are Beetle and Grimm. Hello, and we are back. Um, just check it. How did everyone find the, um, how did everyone find the, the trailer? If you haven't seen it before, did you like it? Are you interested? Um, you've missed the Kickstarter. However, uh, you can still buy the books. You can't buy the lovely sleeved editions because they were Kickstarter exclusives, I believe. Charlie can. No, you, you could still get those. They're, okay. on, they're on Crowdox. There you go. Crowdox, uh, Steve, I've just sent you a link. If you can put that into... Uh, the chat for it, everybody. There is a way for you can sign up. But so, Charlie, how's it going? How how's things at Beetle and Grimm, and how how's the uh, Character Chronicles going? Uh, things are great, crazy uh, at Beetle and Grimm. We actually we actually have our first full time employee, which is awesome. Where the rest of us, the 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 founding five, are all have day jobs, but we actually have an employee now, which is great. Um. Uh, a lot of is, stuff going on. The character chronicles, the chronicles themselves are really go going well. We've just about put a pin in the Wizards one. So we were reviewing that last night, and that's off to Paizo for final approvals. We sent you some uh, some images of the fighter one. The Wizard one, is it's so cool. I mean, just spells just for Wizards. The, the player character section of it. I know when we when we were promoting this, we always said you know twenty pages of of, of uh, character sheets. No, it's forty pages of character sheets. 
Uh, so it's, 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 there's a lot of room. I mean, Pathfinder just has so many ways you can, you can uh, yep. customize your character. So it just gave you a lot of room to, uh, to spread out there and make mistakes and erase stuff. And it's all on very heavy, you know, quality paper. So you might get on spells and, and journal entries and it's fun. It's, it's really going well. You mentioned the, um, um, the artwork. The progress. I've got some. I'm putting some stuff on the screen now for for the audience. If you if you watch it on Twitch, you'll be able to see. So this is the fighter character journal. Uh, can you talk us through it? Yeah, I mean, again, it's it's a lot of, you know, that's the the fun of kind of designing this and all is that you know character fighters obviously have different requirements than wizards, so a lot more room for equipment crafting. Um, we, we put, you know, some fun stuff in that's different. So Sir Eric's advice features prominently in the, uh, in the fighter chronicle. Yeah. I did actually, advice. I thought that was great. Cause I knew that they, the, you got uh, the little quotes every now and then. And when we were talking about your character, when you send over your character and then the character's backstory, I was like, Oh, is there going to be anything? Have Beadle and Grimm, will Beadle and Grimm have quotes? Uh, is it going to be your own character? To, and just as I was thinking about Sir Eric, because he'd be a great one to put in, being a fighter, I found the page, and it's just about to come up on the screen. And then uh, the audio cut out. This page, this page here is the, the mockery that made a fighter out of Fiona. It is, it's <laughs> lovely. It is fantastic. Um, now, I'm old enough to remember those those advertisements in uh, comic book in the, history. Exactly. So. It was the comic books. It used to be the, the bully kicking the sand in your face and how you could... Exactly. Uh, Either get either muscle up, or how how you could get your own back with practical jokes, <laughs> like the whoopee cushion, <laughs> or the fake bird poo, or something like that. Yeah, but, yeah. exactly. Dog dog vomit or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and we've got the uh, as the as you can see on the the, the stream, we've got um, the the covers are back in. So those are those are pictures of real, honest to god covers. The fun stuff is all the textures are different. So the, the, the Druid one has kind of got a woodsy kind of texture to it. Um, fighter one's more of a leather one. The wizard is kind of a snake skin. It's fun. It's cool. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, we, we're, we're, we're up against it, but we will, we will get these things out very soon. Yeah, I mean, they, we, I'm blown away by the um, how good they look. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm looking thanks. forward to to get. Yeah, we've got we've got a great design team. Uh, Rob and Shaw regard our uh, our design team, and they're they're awesome. It's so fun. Cool, uh, Steve. Did you manage to put that link in the? Yes, I did. Yeah. Cool. Yep, that is there. Uh, uh, we've got uh, also on that that Kickstarter or Crowdox now page. There's uh, we have character dice. So class specific dice for 14 characters, classes, including the DM, mm -hmm. who should get their own dice after all. Um, and uh, yeah, then we still have the, the enhanced editions with slip covers and, and PDF versions. So go crazy. Uh, all this stuff will eventually go to sale, you know, go for sale on our, our Beal and Grimm site. We'll probably run CrowdOx, I think, probably another three or four weeks and then move everything to be on grounds. The other thing that's cool when we just got there's pictures of was the um, the class pins. Yeah. And the Pathfinder. We've got we've got the finals of all those in. Those are going to be coming to uh, as soon as Crydox is done, those will be available in the store as well. Those hey, there's Sir Eric. Yeah, that's what he says. That's what that's mm. what he was saying. He's he's actually uh, appears in, in the fighter manual. Yeah, he just popped up on the uh, the scrolly thing. Yeah. <laughs> He gives he gives terrible advice, so don't actually do what he says. <laughs> there has been a lot of questions about the Beadle and Grimm team as a whole, um, and Ipsy has asked, "Do you have do you have any neat hats like Bill?" Neat hats? Oh, neat oh, hats. from the um, the the that stream we just did. Yeah, I think I, so. I, yeah. no. <laughs> I don't I don't have as cool hat as I'm not as cool as Bill is. <laughs> we've got we got we got questions coming in uh I'm um, not able i've to got i've got a question you wanna... um so this this was the first kickstart you've done uh how, how was the whole experience overall 
Is it something you think you'd do again? Yeah, we'll do it again. Um, I mean, the, the, it's, it's, you know, honestly, it's sort of on brand for us. It's been in line with everything. You know, we're, we have spent, we've been around for a while and we've spent our entire lives not doing the stuff that we're doing now. So uh, it was kind of a, we got some very good help, but it was, it was a little chaotic and, and a good learning experience. Um, but it was also a ton of fun. I mean, it was, it was got a lot of great feedback from people who were, you know, saw our stuff, were excited by it. Um, you know, next time we do it, it'll be better, but it's, it's, you know, it's work for sure. Yeah, one of the things I liked, because uh, you, you added the dice quite late on in the Kickstarter, if I remember correctly, because I think mm -hmm. it signed up for one of the books, and then, and then the dice came out. Uh, did you find that doing that later on had you know, another influx of interest towards the end? It did. I would love, here's what I'd love to say. That was a calculated move on our part. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It just, it just timed out. It timed out that way. So... <laughs> Luck, eh? <laughs> That's, I mean, we've we've got we've got a lot of pots on the fire, and it's 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 all it's always kind of a mystery of what what uh, comes ready at what time. We, so we've got various questions coming in. They're all kind of along the same lines of is is the stuff like the dice, the Pathfinder, or the Peso, the, the Pathfinder dice, and the Character Chronicles. Is this um, a product that's going to be maintained, or it, does it does it have a limited run? Like like the like the, not necessarily like the platinum boxes, but is this something that will continue to 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 stop? Yeah, no, I mean this is for us. This this is the thin end of the wedge. You know, we we want to we want to um, move on to do more character chronicles, get the rest of the classes. Um, we you know, and then move on to you know different Paizo products. We've been we love the community, love the game. Um, so we we want to keep going. What, but you know we, we have to start somewhere so this is this is our start uh, any plans to do um like the dice people are specifically asking for the class dice because it's a nice idea the lovely artwork on the tins are you going to be doing them for D D? well they're i mean they're they're roughly comparable right i mean the the mm -hmm. wizard stuff is is um they're, they're actually not branded with any um, with any company that are their, their own thing. So you can use them across. Uh, no, are we going to get the license for, for doing D&D branded dice anytime soon? No, I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're, they could be used across across game sets, I think. And what's the... Some are, um, some are obviously Alchemist is Pathfinder. Yeah. What's the, what's the next, what, any, any, any hints? Teasers, what's the next Beadle and Grimm project? Where, where are we? We're nearly in March. Are we ready yeah. for a, a, an announcement soon? Are we ready to announce the next Platinum? Oh. <laughs> the, uh, the wizard schedule generally is their, their big releases are, in, uh, are announced in May, June. So, okay. you know, if, if, if history stays true, there will be a Platinum announcement in May or June. Okay. Um, They've just announced a uh, guide to Ravenloft, mm -hmm. um, and you know it's entirely possible within the next day or two we'll have an announcement related to that. Ooh, cool! As soon as I Stop. actually get it together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, we've got we have we have too many things, um, and of course you know the. Semi frustrating part about this is we, we find out about stuff long before it's been announced to the public. So we have lots of plots and stratagems in the in the wings, but we can't we can't talk about all of them yet. I mean, the the thinking process when you do like the um, uh, all the boxes you've done, you've done those extra encounters. Yeah. Do you do you all just kind of um, think up those short little stories are they things that you guys have have actually played in the past and you've gone that was a really good bit we'll put that in because i noticed on um with uh, icewind dale you've got you've got justice and john both wrote some of the encounters um yep. i mean is that something more that you're going to where am I going with it? I'm kind of going, are you going to do like your own, are we going to see like a Beadle and Grimm 
adventure. adventure. Are we going to see something that is unique to Beetle and Grit? Like your the stories that you played. Um, who was the DM? Was it John? John was the DM for most so of the time. Yeah. The, like the homebrew we all, we story. All took a turn, but John is our John is our guy. So it, are we going to see like John's homebrew in a campaign adventure at some point? I think that we're all we're all writers. We're all ambitious. We all think we're smarter than we probably are. <laughs> and therefore, think that we can do stuff better than people who've been doing it for years and years. So yes, I, I feel sure that at some point you'll see that. Uh, as far as what goes into the box, um, it's mostly been John, and I, I do think John draws on stuff that he knows works. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's all original, obviously, but he draws on stuff that he knows works. Justice has been writing um, some of our bonus encounters, both for Eberron and yep. for um, uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. He's a really strong writer, and he's done a ton of stuff that's on DM skilled. So he's been a real asset to the team. Yeah, his uh, his writing's been been great. We did um when I got the Avernus box set, the Avernus Platinum box. Um when I when I read the, the, the story, I didn't like the beginning of how Avernus starts. And then I was looking mm -hmm. around and I found it on DM's Guild. This is before I knew Justice properly, who Justice was and he was involved with you guys as such. So it was just like, okay, the guy's got the same name. <laughs> uh, and he wrote uh, the was it the the fall of El Terrell, and it's a great first level encounter story that introduces you to the descent into Avernus, and I ran that with uh, my work group team, and it was fantastic. It's a great story. So again, the stuff that Justice is able to bring to your guys, the, the those encounters that are in those box sets, they are fantastic. I really enjoy. I enjoy those. That's more than D and D, but hey. Um, so that's I'm curious to to see more of what's coming out of Beetle and Grimm. What the next few years has to hold for. Are you still personally enjoying Beetle and Grimm? Is it a lot of work? Blood, sweat, uh, and tears. Uh, I'm, enjoying a, lot, I'm enjoying a lot is, more is now. What do you do for Beetle and Grimm exactly? Oh yeah, yeah. That was one of the questions. Um, yeah, I, I, they're actually those two things kind of go together. So. I'm enjoying it more now because I'm not doing a lot of the stuff that I had been doing. <laughs> it was just as I was tackling. So, I mean, we all, we all rotate ownership of the various projects that we're working on. So, uh, which is a horribly inefficient way to do it. Really. You should mm -hmm. just concentrate on one thing and just keep doing it, but it's way more fun to move it around a bit. So I ran the Eberron box. Um, so, uh, and, you know, John has run a box, Bill's run a couple boxes, Paul ran Frostbaden, and um, uh, Matt ran uh, the Ravenloft box, um, the Strahd box. So it, it, we, we move around stuff. I've been doing a lot of the support work. I do some of the, you know, sort of more website stuff and setting up the, the fulfillment and backend stuff as well. Um, but I mean, the fun part is when, when we all do this and it's very much a team effort is we, you know, we take apart, we get a new, new project, a new module or whatever from wizards and we just take it apart. What are we going to do for this chapter? What are we going to do this chapter? And then have long arguments over cheese or finger puppets <laughs> or whatever the hell Matt <laughs> wants to add to the box. Yeah. And uh, that's that's the fun part. That's the great part. Are we going to see more of you guys together? You know, you've done a couple of live streams now. Are we going to see more of that? Um, I mean, we definitely want to stream more as a company. You know, um, it's it's fun for us to have people that we don't know to come in. You know, mm -hmm. sort of a like a add a new flavor to the group because we're Lord knows we see each other. Three or four times a week on Zoom <laughs> just for business stuff. Yeah. Um, so it's fun to bring other people in. But yeah, we, we want to do more of that. We enjoy it. It's just a bandwidth thing for us. Then we've got um, one of the things that uh, Charlie has brought to us to do is one of the giveaways. Um, we, well, we, uh, Charlie, Beetle, and Grimm is going to be giving away a $50 gift voucher. Ooh. And this can be used on anything on their store. So we, yeah. uh, we need a magic word. Steve is going to set up a draw, and we are going to pull that in a minute or so. Let's have the magic word, Eric. It's an easy one. Because full frontal is probably too long. 
<laughs> That's going to get clipped. Uh, <laughs> That's definitely uh, right, Okay, so uh, it's exclamation point Eric, uh, spell E R I C, um, to enter for the fifty pound uh, Bailey Rim voucher, and it is open now. So please type away. I have a question for Eric. Go ahead. Uh, what what has been the the box with the biggest challenge uh, in creating so far? Um, I, honestly, I think probably Everon uh, for a couple reasons. One um, was just a scheduling thing. We we got the announcement of it kind of late, <clears throat> and we had to sort of scramble to put it together. So it was a, it was a challenge that way. But the other thing is that. Not that any of them are easy to put together, but if you have an adventure, then it's fairly straightforward. You know, you try to put as much stuff related to the adventure throughout. But Eberron is really a source book with a little adventure in it. So it was kind of a little more challenging to kind of look at a different directions. So how can we provide a sort of broad toolkit of things that you can use to build adventures in Eberron rather than just stuff that shows up in the adventure that you have to be on? Uh, I mean, I guess the other one would have been Ravenloft just because there are 33 frickin' maps in it. Yeah. I mean, that that was huge. I mean, the, the stuff in Icewind Dale as well, the Icewind Dale has the, um, I can't remember what it's called now, but you've got the double-sided maps, and then they join together. I mean, these are like A2 size pages. Yeah. These are huge. Poster, poster prints. And then you, yeah, then they connect. <laughs> the map is huge and gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, we do. we have a we have great artists. We have a great print production company um, up in Canada, Ampersand, that does that work for us. Yeah, um, we've had a it's, lot. Of, it's super fun. We've had a lot of uh, questions coming in regarding do you do you do collaborations of any kind? So you know you've you know artists and people and creators uh, around. When you do platinum boxes, are you open to kind of new ideas that, that go into the box? <laughs> I mean, like the finger puppets. So you got that was. We, uh, we generally, we, yeah, we're generally not short of crazy ideas. Um, we we do occasionally do surveys, so we, we we like to know you know what people like and what they don't what they don't like. Um, uh, all the you know all the. All the work to put the box together, a lot of it is very collaborative. You know, we'll say, hey, you know, Ampersand, we want this. We want to do this as an in-world handout. And they'll come back to us and say, well, I know you want to do it this way, but it would be way cooler if we put it on this paper and then tea stained it and crumpled it up by hand. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, let's, let's do that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and, yeah, of course, we're, we're open to, to people. Come. We'd actually do, you know, when we do the Wizard, boxes, uh, Wizard of the Coast boxes, we talk to them internally just to see, hey, you know, you guys wrote it. What do you think would be cool in there? Um, so we do we do collaboration with them as well. Is and, that, you know, if you've got great ideas, send them to us. I, I got ideas. I got ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Front of the queue. I got ideas. Um, do you have, is that something you did when you got into like playing D and D and role playing games, did you do? Because I, I, you know, we literally used to do that as kids. You get a piece of, you know, uh, A4 paper, white. You put it into like a baking tray. You pour tea over it. Leave a tea bags in. Uh, you leave it out to dry for a week, or stick it in the oven. Whatever kind of works. And then you might burn the edges with a lighter, just kind of give it that crumpled look. Strip. We used to do all of that. Is that it's something you used to do? And then you went, I know what all. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. And thing? then, then you, then you hope your mom doesn't find it, think it's junk, and throw it away. <laughs> well, yeah. It's like I throw all that burned <laughs> stuff away that I found. And yeah, um, yeah. We we did that. Lot, you know, a lot of maps. You know, when we were we were kids, we played um, a lot of uh, war games on you know terrain and stuff like that as well. And I just. I think maps are always the thing that just kind of grounds you in the world as quickly as possible. So, at least for us, and that's that's all that kind of stuff that we did. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It's it's funny, you know. I mean, that's it is. I mean, this to a large extent, this is just kind of what we wish somebody had done for us that we could have. That you know, that's we're we're scratching our own edge basically. <laughs> that's cool. 
We've got, um, I think, the... Is the competition ready to pull? Yeah, we're right. ready to roll. Go for it. Pull the one arm bandit. Let's see who it spews out. Hey. Brain Bree Studios. Brain Bree Studios. Nice. <laughs> well done, Sean. Congratulations, well Sean. Sean. Well done, Sean. Well done. That's fine, Sean. <laughs> you didn't want to win? <laughs> uh, we did. So <laughs> he's just surprised he did. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, that's so. Brain Beast Studios is Sean Sunday. Uh, Sean or Brain Beast is the Shifting Spire, which is also um, Beedling Grim. Also uh, support the Shifting Spire over in Australia, and that is Sean Sunday. We were um, Sean. Is it out on YouTube or is it just on Twitch at the moment? Let us know in chat. But we were the first guests, so the Band of Badgers were actually invited to be the first guests on the Shifting Spire, which we did oh, last cool. last Saturday. Uh, six hours. We made it. We made it to level eight. So we completed level seven. We made it to the eighth level. There was ten levels in the shifting tower in the shifting spire. So uh, oh, it's on YouTube. Send us the link, um, and we can. Oh, we can I'll go and look for it now. Cross it all day. Oh, look, he's done it. There we go. There we go. Um, but yeah, so the the grand prize is now two, is now two BNG boxes. <laughs> we we'll see, we'll see what he says. <laughs> well done, Sean. You've won a fifty pound. Voucher. Hey, well done, Sean. Well done. Spend it on yourself. Yes. Get cool. some finger puppets. Right. <laughs> Don't we, share. We are. We got half hour remaining. Let's see what trouble uh, everyone Rupp can get into. So Elias told us. Uh, I was going to say Charlie. Elias told us Eric. Um, <laughs> You, you, you've seen the, the dragon fly around the city. You've killed off those giants. Um, and then you hear the, the war horn. Uh, Rupp, Yelena, and Harrison. Harrison is invisible. Rupp was invisible and he's now just announced himself. Are they within the 20 foot radius? <laughs> Who, Yelena or? No, the giants. <laughs> I'd rather not be. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're all kind of... Uh, he's barking order. So it's two giants uh, plus Tarachnus, who's, who's a slightly bigger giant. And, a, you know... Okay. A dinosaur. Terras... 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 Hold on. <laughs> what did I say? Terracetops. 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 It's late. It's late. It's half eleven. I've been up since five. Here we go. Three horned beast. There you go. Yeah, the three horned beast. So, as, as a cod piece, there you go. That just sounds wrong on so many levels. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, right, let's like do a quick make... recap. Uh, yeah, so I, I I walk up and I say, uh, uh, I will defend this town and you will die. <sighs> as I uh, breathe out this, like... Uh, violet smoke that comes out and washes over the over the gr the broken buildings and land, and uh, hopefully goes up their noses. Um, okay. So uh, I'd like you to make fortitude saves, for them, please. Okay. Uh, Thirty-two saves. Ooh, this is not a good one. Uh, Twenty-three does not save. And Tarachnus is 28, 29, 30, 31. Does save. Okay, so, um, so two of them take half damage, so that's. Um, so I've got, sorry, 12 plus 11 is uh, 23 points. So one takes 23 and is sickened one. Yep. Um, and the others take 11, I guess. Okay. And I'm just standing in the middle of the square. <laughs> yep, you've announced yourself. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do a quick... Right, that's fine. Right, what we're going to do is see if um, our new toy 
works. Okay. We we'll sure. give this a go. A go. Right, drum roll. It might work. It might completely fail. Bigging it up there. Mm. <laughs> Optimism. But we're gonna get fingers crossed. We're gonna give this a go. So let me. It's gonna. It's gonna look awesome. Uh, I need to, oop, I need to oh, put that there. Keep on talking, Steve. Keep on talking. <laughs> uh, I've, got to, I've got to do some magic here. I've got to do some magic. Here we go. Tap uh, that. Yeah. So, uh, so, um, talk us, uh, Eric. Uh, uh, well, I, I guess we better get get off and find where the others have gone. Uh, look for this stone. Um, uh, where do we want? Where should we head to? The cathedral or the lighthouse? What do you, What do you think? I mean, we dispatched these four pretty quickly, uh, but I could do with some peeling off Rupp. So maybe heading for Rupp would be a, a good move. Yes, good idea, Elias. Yeah, I'll do with some healing myself. <laughs> Yeah, that that would uh, that was bracing. Those those swings. It, it, it was invigorating. I, I enjoyed yeah. that fight. That was yeah, a, yeah. That was a good fight. And, and you've got three on me at the moment, so I, I need to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Double or nothing on the dragon, I'll say. There you go. Yes. It was a good challenge. We we rose to the challenge. I well, think it's worked. working. <laughs> okay, it might be working. Uh, I'll wait for confirmation from the moderators. But yeah, we're on. We're good. If you can see this on Twitch, the, yeah. here we are. So Fantastic. We are using. Uh, we, this is this our just, first time using Vorpal. Sorry, before. I just saw it. That's, that's not. <laughs> is that is that what you envisioned? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, so, that, in trouble. Oh, okay. that that little fella's you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a halfling. In trouble, oh, you're screwed. In trouble. Now, if, if everyone is actually still logged into Vorpal Board, obviously you can still m mouse over the, the map and everything. Um, but if not, don't worry. You can see it on Twitch. The painted guy, yes, he's a fire giant, but it's all I got. So <laughs> he's 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 going to be Tarachnus, this guy. This is what stone giants really do look like, but this is the D&D &D version. I don't think there's much difference between that and the Pathfinder version, but they look good. Um, and he notices... <laughs> he notices him... They notice him, and he's pointing to him. He's also a giant. He's a, he's a frost giant. No, he might be a fire giant. I'm not sure. But anyway, three giants and a halfling. The halfling has just materialized a out of thin air and is um, gas, gaseous sickius, is what I can say. I'm Don't forget one of them sickens, so it gets a minus one on their attack roll, Dave. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> minus one on their attack roll. Okay. Minus one. Oh, it'll be, it'll be a 34 instead of a 35. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you spew all this out on the night. Oi! Tarachnus, he stands there. He's like, oh, get on my shoes. I will. Who do you think you are? Messing with us like that. Oi, look. See him? He's going to put you in that sack. Now, why'd you do that? Um, <laughs> you're going to die. <laughs> um, well, I don't, I don't think I'm going to die. I mean, look at the like... size of me. Okay, Elaine is going to step out and go, how would you like this through your sack? And she will cast uh, a spike up the ground under <laughs> whatever his name is. Did I, did I start genius. this? Was that the <laughs> yeah. for How are you guys always like this? No, they, they, were, they were normal before you turned up. No. Uh, they yeah. were never normal. I said, I mean, I said Charlie yeah, was a nice, have a Charlie was a nice guy. You know... Yeah. Impaling we're a spike. Influence. Impaling yes, spike. impaling spike. So please, would you make a reflex save on the one wearing the cod piece? <laughs> <It's reckless. laughs> Are you going to make a fourth ball? <laughs> <laughs> He's failed. Oh my god! Yeah, it wasn't a natural one though, was it? It was not. It was a four. Uh, that's disappointing. It was, it was oh, that, yeah, that's a fail. Yeah. Um, six, eight. <laughs> And 
Sounded like a lot of dice. Yeah. 25 and you have been impaled through a leg or another non-vital body part. Ooh. Now, oh. I did mention a body part. Yeah. And it is yeah, but that's vital. vital. <laughs> what, is it vital? <laughs> well, I guess I'm not really in a position to say. Is it vital? It's vital to the owner. <laughs> I know that. I would say is it more vital. vital than a leg? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, ra I'd rather lose a kidney than lose that, that's for sure. <laughs> it's pretty easy decision, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He, it goes to the leg, then. The inner thigh, the inner thigh. Just oh. the inner thigh, yeah. just the third leg, maybe. <laughs> so uh, Tarakna's oh. rears up as it, as it impales through his upper thigh. Very, very close. To his codpiece. Oh, I was... um, he's like, "Oi, you need got my 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 stuff there." Eh? Well, we, we... Missed, didn't they? He, he's now immobilised. Yeah. Um. So he needs to make uh, and if he wants to escape, he needs to try and escape, and the DC will be twenty eight. <laughs> Like, oh, does it do damage as well? So he, 25, 25 oh, right. points of damage. He howls out in pain and then almost rage as this thing has gone kind of through his leg. Um, he shouts at the other two, Oi, right, get her, not the sacker, pulverize her, smack her around a bit. And the other two move in to attack. <laughs> I regret um, everything. As this is yeah. all happening, Harrison would like to... Um, swing his grappling hook menacingly but if i'm still invisible to the giants yeah. it, you, okay you the, all they will see is a grappling hook swinging around <laughs> well you were wearing it so i would say all your all your stuff is invisible apart from if you're grab if they can see a grappling hook they can see all your clothes okay I, I just wanted to make it more comical of having just a grappling hook swinging on its own but um okay well anyway if you um, picked it up off the street then I okay, would say that, sure. yes. But as you were wearing it when you went invisible. All right, okay. Well, I will hopefully suddenly spring out of in invisible form as I'm swinging this grappling hook. And I will attempt to try and swing up to the middle guy. Um, Tarachnus. Tarachnus with the, uh, the codpiece. Um, and, uh, yeah, I will attempt to try and swing it up and get on top of him. Okay, he's going to try and get up here. He'll probably fail. I put him there. Bear in mind there is a you know, a giant cod piece and a spike in your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will, I will, I will time it right. To climb up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you got something to grab hold of. <laughs> and the spike. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like me to roll for that? Or... <laughs> this has become the bake off. <laughs> You're seriously climbing up his gooch, yeah? <laughs> right. So, <laughs> uh, just just roll an athletics check. <laughs> Okay. Well, it's all gone to Dave. 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 There's not one specific to that. <laughs> Dave, breathe, breathe, Dave. Let's go. <laughs> so, um, it is a uh, thirty-six, I believe. Yeah, that's a pass. Well done. Hey. So yes, I if 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 serves right, you see Harrison swinging this grappling hook whilst invisible, suddenly uh, unpops out of invisibleness and just kind of loops up, and uh, climbs on top of the, uh, the I forgot his name already. Teractus. Teractus. I keep wanting to say pterodactyl, but uh, <laughs> uh, Teractus. So yeah, Harrison is now riding a joint. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know if I can actually put you on. Uh... No. Check that off the bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> um, assuming I still have actions left, I would look like to try and slash at him um, with one of my swords. Yeah, okay. We know you're on the head. There you go. Yeah, alright. So. Uh, I rolled a nat 20. Ooh. Yay! Bizarre. So, 
Hazar indeed. So, uh, 20 points of standard damage. 20 points of damage, yeah. Well, yeah, 20 points of damage, and the uh, the persistent one is, I think, it will be doubled, so it'll be two. So, two points of persistent damage for this turn. Yep. Okay. Well done. You're riding basic on his shoulder. Yeah, like, uh, like the angel and, like angel and devil, but I will yeah. be on the devil side of the. Uh... <laughs> okay, okay. So you're 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 riding him. That's fine. <laughs> um, Stop saying it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, can every, could everyone please uh, roll uh, initiative for me, so we can we can just initiative. take that. Sure. Yeah. Including us coming in from the rear. You you'll eventually get there. Yeah. <laughs> You can have have your rolls, make a note of it, but don't tell me just yet. Okay, cool. Strong baby monkey. Uh, okay, Rup. Thirty-five. Harrison. Uh, thirty-one. Yelena. Twenty. Hmm. Rubbish. Okay. Right. Okay, first up is Rup. So, you okay. skewed out all your gas. What would you like to yeah, do? Yeah, I just go, Tolkus, help! And I summon a spiritual guardian of Tolkus. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, he's going to, um, like, morph out of the ground uh, in a spiral uh, with uh, with his classic great axe out, out of out of the ground. And uh, in a defense, he's going to uh, swing his axe around and hit the first giant. The, uh, the Teractinus in front of me. Cool, go for it. Um, that is a 29 to hit. Yep, hits. Still need 27 to hit. Um, that's not very much. 11 points of damage. <laughs> okay, it's a start. You're off. Um, then he's gonna uh, he's gonna stand. Like uh, in front of in front of me with his force shield, uh, ready <laughs> ready to protect me. After that, okay, okay. As as I also do these movements in the back, as I'm actually controlling. You're controlling. Him. You're a puppet master. Yeah, I'm like it's like VR, you know. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you do avatar. Cool. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, no, that's okay. me done. So the giant uh, the giants get there. Go next. Um, then it's followed by Harrison and Yelena. And what we do, we do the round, and then the other guys can can turn up uh, in the second round. Okay. Um, we we'll do the giants first. The giants just go for attack. The the one who's um, sickened is going to try to grab Yelena uh, to put her in the sack. Uh, ooh, thirty. Yes, that okay. that's okay. 30, and they managed to grab you. For flavour, I'm just going to try and bite them. Okay. Which will do nothing. It will do nothing. It, they are stone. Um, exactly. So we, we, we've actually made the stone giants actually made out of stone. Um, okay, so he grabs you and then tries it tries to stuff you into a sack. Okay. <laughs> Not his sack, I hope. Not his sack. A sack. <laughs> and we'll come back to that. Uh, giant number two, he, he sees uh, Tolkus Prime and gets a natural 20. Ooh, to that, hit oh, with... that's on me, not just Tolkus oh, Prime. Okay. So, well, he's gonna, he's gonna, yeah, so he's, he's aiming for Tolkus Prime. He's okay. hit uh, for a lot. And that is, ooh, that is not a lot. That was bad. 12, 15. 15, well, 15 times 2, 30 points of damage. Okay. As he uh, smacks into Tolkien's He time. absorbs 10 of it, and I take the rest. Okay. 
is the... And then Tarachnus um, <clears throat> is like, Oi! You little shit, get off my shoulder! Stop poking me in the air! As he tries to uh, grab you. Ooh! Uh, turn that. 39 to grab. So 39, did 39 hit? Uh, 39 does hit my okay. AC, yeah. So he grabs you and throws you down onto the floor. Uh, ooh, that is not so good. Uh, eight, 18 points of damage. Okay. As he smacks you back down in, onto the ground. Um, okay. And then it's uh, Harrison, followed by Yelena. So um, I'm going to get up, um, dust myself off, um, and uh, run up to Taractus and uh, use my double strike ability and attack twice um, with that attack. So we'll see if I hit. So 18 and a 19 uh, plus my, well, sorry, the rolls are 18 and 19, so that will be a hit. Yeah. So um, I'll roll the first one. Okay. So that is... Um, seven slashing and one persistent yeah and then the next attack is uh eight points of slashing okay um and i think if i've been thrown down on the floor i'll probably have to get up if i don't know if that takes an action to get up effectively so if, if not, then I'll still have a mo uh, an action left to, to attack him with another strike. So, DM's rule on that. No, I'll, I'll let him. Okay, so another attack, and that's a nat one. <laughs> but I will use my PP point. <laughs> <laughs> Your penis coin. Power point. Well remembered. Um, and, uh, Where is that, that is... in the rules? <laughs> 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 I can't explain this. Yeah, so, yeah, oh, no, you, you must explain it. Well, okay, so... so that, that, that's a P, right? Hold on, yeah. there we go. Just so... Turn it ever so slightly, it's oh, at an angle. Way. Oh, got it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can't unsee that now. Yeah. Yeah. It's the big PP. Pee -pee. <laughs> <laughs> it's your Pathfinder PP pee -pee Very lewd. Um, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that would be a 33 minus 5, so... Uh, 28. 28. Does that 20, hit? 28 hits, yes, just. Okay, so um, I'll be using my um, short sword. At 8 points of damage again. Oh, nice. Okay. You did quite... Quite a consistent amount of damage. I'm just literally just slashing at his legs at this stage because he's quite tall, right? So he is tall. Take out his Achilles, it's fine. <laughs> yep. And your lane. Um, how many people are in this bag? Uh, two other people are in the bag. Two other people. Okay, cool. I'm going to tell them to, if they can, try and get behind me. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put my hands out in front against the side of the sack. I don't know which way I'm going to be standing and cast burning hands to try and create a hole in the sack okay yep so you cast the spell straight away the the sack uh, below your hands uh boom, just ignites leaving oh. a nice big hole um you're gonna fall out of it that's fine athletics check uh, da, 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 da. that went the wrong way <laughs> oh that was left <laughs> that, that went the wrong way sorry did not mean to do that um acrobatics uh 24 uh, perfectly fine. Okay, so you land superhero pose onto the ground while the other two land flat on their faces. Ba -dum -ba -dum. They're not uh, in you... the giant sack anymore, though. They're not in the sack anymore. Um, so you've got two, you rescued two survivors. Well done. And I'll kind of sh shout to them, get away, hide. Run. <laughs> and then I'll use my last remaining action to cast Run. message. And if... Elias is within 120 feet. I'll go, we need help now, please. Yep. They are on their way. Okay, so that is the end of the round. We're going to round two. Um, you see the dragon fly around and it just lands on top of the church and kind of skitters around with its wings out on top of the church. It says, Darkness, why are you messing around with these humans 
And Tarantus is looking at him. Oi! Well, this one's been poking me in the ear. And these ones here, I've told my giants to raid the town. Mokmuyan said not to raid the town. Just to find the foundation stone. Have you found it yet? No, because I've been busy, ain't I? Then you see Tolkus, Sir Eric, and Professor Elias uh, arriving at this road here. I don't know why Elias is in front, only because he's too small. Um, arriving over there. Here comes the cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the roof. There we go. Let's do it that way. There is. There is. There is nice. Rawr, rawr. There <laughs> no budget has been spared at all. <laughs> uh, no, I think you meant spent. That, that. <laughs> that is also true. <laughs> Very similar. Hey, I think it looks great. There you go, look, you see a dragon shadow. I'm looking forward to seeing you paint that beast there. I am. I am. We can talk about that another time. <laughs> I, have some I have some information about that. So, uh, yeah, we can, uh, we can talk about that off air. <laughs> Surprises. Um, right. Eat your heart out. What we're going to do is add in the new arrivals and their initiatives. Could you tell me what they are, please? So start with Tolkus. Uh, I got a nice round 30. Okay. And so, Eric? Uh, 24. 24. Not as nice or as round. <laughs> and Professor Elias? I also got a 30. Way! 30 club. I missed the memo. Yep. Fine, so did I. Okay, top of the round, <laughs> Rup. Right, a nice and round Rup. Um, decides to um, have his spiritual guardian run up <laughs> and hit him <laughs> again. Uh, uh, Taractinus. Yep. Uh, with his it. first action. Nat 20. Oh. Awesome. Well done. Tolkus is uh, proving good. <laughs> Tolkus, you see a mirror image of you, but made of light. Uh, rushing towards Teractinus. semi translucent it's like translucent. It's not quite there. It's kind of like... Um, so that is uh, 20 points of damage. Ooh. Yeah. Um, what, a, what a handsome apparition. <laughs> uh, hey, I know then... that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the job! <laughs> um, and then I would like to cast... Uh, command on one of the giants, please. One of the smaller ones. Okay. And I'll just say, drop it. <laughs> uh, and he'll try and drop his club. Okay, okay. And uh, we'll do it on the one who's sickened because then it will potentially have more effect. Yeah. Uh, what's the so roll? We'll save. We'll save, it? please. Yeah. Uh, oh, we did roll high. Uh, that's a thirty-one. Yeah, just about. Okay. <laughs> that was too higher. Yeah. So, no effect. No effect. He's like, huh? No. <laughs> seems, seems confused about something. He's looking at the club and he's not, he's not quite sure. And then he's like, huh? Uh, okay, now it's the giant's go. So, uh, the, one with the, the one with the burn sack is going to attack Yelena. Um, with a 29, 30. Yes, that yeah. hits. Okay, so that is, that's 21 points of damage, please, as he sinks with the club. Uh, he goes for his second swipe. Double damage. I've got natural 20. Oh, Another no. One. Um, Can you get rid of that dice, please? No. Uh, <laughs> Uh, not, oh actually, 13, 14, 15, uh, 17 times 2, 34. 
points of damage. And this one, he almost lifts you up off the ground. Uh, you smack across the air and land poof, against the, the doors of the church. You don't open them, it's just for the camera effect. Because <laughs> I can it's do that. Flavor. Yeah. Um, as it smacks into the doors, you bounce off the, the solid wooden doors, takes your, the breath out of you as well. Uh, the um, Taractinus is, is he still on his spike. Taractinus is still on the spike. He's completely immobilized. Um, he will do a strength. He failed that, and uh, so he will use his second attack to try to. I've oh, got natural, another natural twenty. Oh this is to God. hit, oh hit Harrison. So he's going to try to launch Harrison out of the way. And tonight you are watching Nuendo and TPK. Uh, mm. Yeah. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 18 points of damage. So, okay. uh, 36 in total. Okay. Uh, you also get launched back away. Not as far. You smack into this. Look, you smack into this. This thing is a street lamp and it, and it falls down. Oh. Crashing it to the ground. Like that. We have interactive scenery. There we go. I can't tell if that was stop animation or CGI. It was really fast. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have been a good I feel, I feel sure that's going to get you fined somehow. Well, you know, <laughs> if they want me for the for that new D&D movie, <laughs> <laughs> I am available. <laughs> I do all my own stunts as well. Look. There you go. Fantastic. Right, Tarachnus. Uh, he's launched... Josh around, and then the last giant is going to attack. Ooh, 19. That is a 40 to hit. Me? A 40 to yeah. hit up with the club. Um, so, t oh, bloody hell. Two hands, two handed, and he's just going to step forward and crunch it over your head. How much damage? Um, we have 18, 28, 29, 30 points of damage. And this club is massive. Club is way bigger than you. You disappear under that yeah. blow. And yeah, there's a splat and gore goes all over the axe. <laughs> but the, 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 the Tolkis absorbed some of it. No, he? he didn't defend him. <laughs> oh. so Unfortunately. The, uh, as the giant picks up the club, he's like... And all you, all you see is blood and gore everywhere, all over the floor, where Rupp once was. What? Um, Harrison, you're up, followed by Elias. So, I've just seen Harrison, sorry, Rupp, even, just explode or, or just be crushed. He has just been, been <laughs> yeah, he has just been blown apart smushed mashed i've just been uh, thrown across a lamppost as well so I, obviously this is all happening real time so yeah. as i see this and see rup just kind of die or at least believe it to die i will just go no and i will uh just look straight at teractus again and go you bastard and i'm going to run at it again wielding my short swords and uh an attempt to attack him again with my double strike Okay. In, in, in anger. It to into Taractus, yeah. Taractus, yeah. So, uh, so double strike. Yep. Uh, so does a yeah. Th those will be hits, both both above ten on the dice. So, uh, okay. So first attack. Um, eight points of damage, slashing. One yep. point persistent. And eight points on the other attack of slashing. Okay, good hit. And hit. that's it for me. He's still also Tarachnus is still impaled by the leg. He has this. Uh, he has this whole. What is it, Elena? It's a, sp <coughs> a spike of uh, stone. A spike of stone just thrusted through him. Through yeah, his from thigh. the ground into his thigh. Into his thigh. And um, so he's still trying to uh, get himself off of that. <laughs> um, Harrison, have you finished? Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> Elias followed by Tolkus, please. So, so the Rupp's just like, is there anything left of Rupp at all? Lots yeah, there's of arms blood, and legs and stuff. An ear, there's some hair. It's just not even enough to like pump a potion into him. No, <laughs> there's nothing. To, no, there's nothing connected. You could make he a stew out of him. It's it's oh, too soon. Sorry, too right. soon. This is emo uh, emo Elias time. Well, I was I was going to do something creative. Now I'm just going to do something destructive. Yeah, destruction <laughs> is the way forward. Uh, they're close enough together and in a line that I can hit them with lightning bolt, teractinus, and the and actual one. stone giant mini one. Yeah, the one I believe that to say. So I'm just going to lightning bolt them. Okay. Z uh, so can you make me a, a, a reflex save and throw, please? Yep. Uh, okay, this is... Mo uh, I was going to say Mokmurian. This is Teractinus. Uh, he failed. He got a three. So 14, 56. He's got 17 in total. And yeah, that's a fail, yep. The other stone giant with the club. Uh, he has... Uh, 24... 27. That's a fail as well. Oh shit! They both take thirty-two points of damage. Oh shit! Nice. Well done. Ah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, as this lightning. Then... Go on. Sorry, with my last action, uh, emo Elias is definitely in the house because the uh, the mask that I took off Sanisha, the Medusa mask, is is being put on with my last action. Okay, so you see, as you do the lightning, uh, it chains through, tra hits Trackness first. Most of it seems to be absorbed into him. And then a little bit goes into the other stone giant. Um, Trackness takes a lot of damage from that. Uh, and he does yeah. not like it. He brings the uh, uh, horn up to his lips and just kind of gives it another bellow. Okay. Um, That's my go over. And then you you start to put on the Medusa mask. Yeah. Okay. Tolkus followed by Sir Eric, please. Right. Well, Tolkus is beside himself with grief and anger at seeing what he considers to probably be his best friend in the world Rupp, crumble, and he just runs forward at full pelt towards uh, Tinnitus, whatever his name was. <laughs> Tyraxus, yeah. Is that ringing in my ears? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's swinging wildly in a sort of like, a sort of almost um, barbaric, you know, crazy fashion yep. that none of the others have ever seen him do before. And it's like, yeah, he's, he's going absolutely ballistic. So he's gonna, he's gonna run up to um, Tyraxus Tractinus. And <laughs> and uh, he's going to power attack him to death. Okay. Right. Go so that is um, a nine on the dice plus 22, which is 31. Yep, that hits. And brings down the freezing cold axe head onto him. And, oh, that's a bloody good roll. That is 21 plus 8, which is 29, plus 4, which is 33, plus 2, for being... Are we still giants, Steve? No. No. No? Okay, so it was whatever the last number I said was. 33. 33? Yeah. Whatever that was. <laughs> okay. So you're basically attacking his leg. Uh, you can see too, one of his legs is impaled, one of them isn't. Which one do you want to attack? Uh, I'll attack the one that isn't. Okay. That's in an attempt to make him to, to make him sort of fall. Yep, he doesn't thing. like it. He, he, you, you, do the, you do the damage, you start to um, chip. Again, we're, you're using your cold axe. Yes, it's uh, frost. Yeah, so as you cut into each um into the leg you're chipping chunks out of it 
and the, the final hit is like tsh, digs in really really deep but you can see <laughs> the magic of your axe blade does seem to seep into the stone somewhere ah maybe they were a bit um susceptible to cold so um i'm gonna guess we're not hasted anymore either steve yeah that's correct yeah so i've got one one more action i'll just take a normal attack at a minus five and it's a 16 on the dice so it's, uh, it's another decent roll uh 17 26 points of damage 26 points of damage yeah, 26 points of damage, and that's the that's the end of my go. Okay, he um, he bellows with with that hit. Your with one leg is already impaled in in you know basically in, by the road. The other uh, the other leg, you're hacking away. It does a lot of damage. He's almost trying. You can see his legs are shaking. He's mm. trying to kind of uh, keep his body up, and he starts to to use his club. Uh, sorry, his pickaxe. One of the pickaxes. Almost as as a crutch, yeah, to kind of hold hold his weight up. You can see he's physically shaking. Um, so Eric, you are up. Followed by I, Elena. Eric, get will, in I will, here. Yeah, I will rush in, get the big guy. Power attack. Yep. Uh, twenty nine hits. Nice. I feel something good's going to happen here. Yeah. Let's hope. Whoa. Uh, 28, 32 damage. Oh, nice. Yeah. Still, and if it's still, oh, still alive. Still? still alive. Yeah, but he, he's wobbly, right? Do I think I could use... I, I know he's a lot bigger and he's a stone giant. Could I use a knockdown to try to flat foot him here? Yeah, you can do. He's he's basically trying to, to not fall down. He is now so weak um, and in pain that he's trying to keep himself, uh, just trying to keep himself up. Okay. Uh, so this is at minus 10. So yep. last time. No. Let's, let's forget that, that happened. Let's step away from that one. Don't forget uh, you do have a hero point you can use yourself. Wait, wait say again? You have, you, you have, you, you have, could... everyone has one... PP point. PP point. <laughs> I don't know. I'm... So you, if you want to re-roll, you get one go, and then you spent it. Yeah. One. Okay. So you're gonna have a quick pee, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it? Now? It's a quick pee. <laughs> quick pee. Thirty minus ten. No. No. Oh, uh, never mind. It was worth trying. Okay. I, I, yeah. yeah. It was still a good hit. You're still, you're still in there. You run into the action. Du -du 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 -du. You're next to Tolkus. Tolkus has been a good comrade through this. Uh, Brothers in arms. Elena, you were swatted into the uh, church doors. Uh -huh. What do you wish to do? Um, I'm very unhappy with what I've just witnessed. Um, are any other giants? from where I am in a nice line at all? Particularly <laughs> Dickhead no. who got splattered. Uh, Dickhead who did the splatting. He's the, he's the one who did the splatting. The one the one okay. that looks like a stone giant. Yeah. Um, that's the one who killed Rupp. Okay, because that's the one that I would very much like to kill myself. Um, so if I can only get him, I will just uh, go for him. Okay. So, I will um, shout out, Oi, dickhead. Can't keep me in any sack. Uh, you're going to pay for what you just did. And I'm hoping that I'm going to hit. Um... Oh, no, he needs to make a reflex save. Yep. Mistake. All right, reflex. Ooh, uh, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That is a pass. Uh, so you will take half damage. Uh, that's not a very good roll either. It's cocked. Uh, <laughs> that is fairly shit. Uh, 14 points of damage, half to seven. Okay. Every little bit helps. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Not enough, though. Not enough. He's still standing, mm -hmm. that one. 
that is the end of the round. So top of the round, uh, Tarachnus in his last ditch effort uh, blows the horn potentially one last time. And the dragon, who's been watching this quite amusingly, flies off east of your location. And then the next time you see him, he is flying away from Sandpoint. With that uh, last call, it seems as if the the giants are start to leave. They stop what they're doing. They stop raiding the town. They stop trying to grab people. They stop smashing the, the town. And the ones who are still standing, who have not been killed by the other heroes in the town, by the, the, the town guard, all start to pack up and leave. Tarachnus is there. And he says that... I am the champion here, not you, me. But if you want to be named champion, then which of you is going to best me? I think we'd all like to attack at the same time, probably. I come out of invisibility <laughs> Fuck and yes. just go, Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Uh, yes, I didn't think it was enough damage. I was hoping. Uh, I didn't think you could get that spell. I actually thought you were dead. I didn't think you could get that spell. Uh, and I attack with all my spells. How, how could you? <laughs> what spell was how that? How could you do that to Tolkas? His heart uh, strings called, it's called, it's called dro drop dead. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. Um, it creates an illusionary version of yourself that dies. Um, and you go invisible as you sa saunter off. So. <laughs> I watch everyone sob, and you're like, oh, okay, they do love me. <laughs> so he as, as he's kind of almost, uh, he's down on, it, all, on his knees, he's now got, the, he, he's now got his hands on, on the road, and as he makes this announcement, Rupp suddenly bursts, makes himself visible. Um and, and I just searing light him in the face. <laughs> and all you do is you see, as you do this, and you cast a spell, all you see is a look of like, uh? <laughs> Complete <laughs> astonishment as you burst from nothing. Okay, do your I've, spell. Uh, Rupp, okay. I, I think Rupp should definitely make it come out of his mooned butt. <laughs> oh, and on. hits here. <laughs> Me. Turn around, moon him, and it comes out and hits him. Uh, speaking of images that won't get out of my head. <laughs> right, uh, so that is. Uh, he has to make a reflex save, but I don't know if he's. I rolled it. I rolled... Here's the thing. Right, I rolled a lot of 20s. I also roll a lot of twos. <laughs> you rolled a two. I rolled a two. I said sixteen in total. Is that a crit? I don't know. Um, okay. So uh, yeah, no, he takes full damage. That's twenty-five points of fire damage. Yep. From one side, as as uh, Rupp's uh, fire goes into what he gets smacked around the face with a firebolt, and then Tolkus from the other takes it. Uh, uh, Tolkus Prime from the other <laughs> takes his great axe. <laughs> Uh, um, and with with the with the with a flat side of it, just wax him around the face of the other. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I think we need to think about changing his name because I'm pretty sure that main Tolkus is Tolkus Prime. That's sure, yeah. <laughs> Tolkus. Which one of them is which one of them is real? <laughs> <laughs> one that looks better is not Tolkus. <laughs> the one you cannot partially see through. <laughs> Call it Hulkus Hogan. Oh. So that's, uh, oh yeah, I've got to roll to hit that one. Uh, so, well, that's 25. Probably doesn't hit. 25 misses. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, so with that uh, blast, how would you like to finish off Teractinus? Yeah, melt his face off. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so uh, I just blast him in the face and that's the uh, searing light-shaped hole in his head as the... <laughs> As, yeah. the be as the beam goes up into the sky. <laughs> and it I'm becomes a signal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a butterfly. Shaped like a bat? 
<laughs> More like a butterfly, if anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Awesome. The, uh, his his crumpled body again, like all the other stone giants that we've had in our story, uh, the bits of the limbs start to break off, and you get dust and rubble and pebbles, um, and just big chunks of rock. And the, the head, as it kind of rocks side to side, just has a, a still still a searing hole through for it. It's a polo with a mint. Ding. <laughs> all the way through. Uh, the giants are still, both of the giants are still standing. Mostly. But they see this and they kind of look at each other like, uh-uh. <laughs> Rupp Rup lets out a roar. Like, ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, do a Rupp roar, go on. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> it only lasted right. for like 0.0 of a second. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I can't do it. The people asleep. Like, oh. And they both kind of like, they just let go of the sacks, uh, drop their clubs, and they, they just run. It's not that they're cowardly, Tal it's just they are, you know, they've been around for several Talcus years. Talcus doesn't even attempt to do an attack of opportunity on them. He immediately drops his axe and he runs over to Rupp and he picks him up and he gives him a really big hug. Oh. And he says, and he says, Rupp, I thought you were gone. How could you do that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought it would make you fight harder. And I think it worked. It did. <laughs> I've never felt anger like that before. Oh, my little friend. I was worried. You can let go of me now. <laughs> put him down and I dust him off like you know okay. that was a good shot yeah you can see all the all the body part the the, 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 the remains of Rupp has now disappeared as um, the spell wears off okay cool it was like <sighs> yeah <laughs> Steve is speechless, which is <laughs> yeah. I think your name is just gonna come off and like, are you real? <laughs> How the fuck do you do that? Next time, give us some warning. Yeah. <laughs> Little bit of heads up. I, you know, I, I did actually think that was real. You you nearly I, made him go full emo. I, I do rolled... you know how difficult that will be without you hit. I did roll with a proper hit. That was proper damage. He he, yeah. he got smacked. Uh, I just go, uh, well fought, Sir Eric. Um, this is well, why I don't trust clerics. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Or well, not this type of cleric, no. Uh, you see, uh, maybe this, maybe this will help, and I cast heal on you. <laughs> uh, you, you fulfilled your purpose. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am deeply offended by that, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, sh I should tell you at some point I have, I have a whole plan for replacing clerics with wheelbarrows and potions and runners oh, I see, <clears throat> not like the bards who record all this that you so so admire but yeah. where is the bard anyway? he might have been eaten by a bear <laughs> bears? and there's bears around? oh yeah, oh, we sure. took care of the bears <laughs> okay and, it was dire. and four giants mm. oh I skewered one. Yeah, I, when we get a chance, I need to go back and skin one of the bears. So you see um, the door, you hear... I heard you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. You hear, you hear the, uh, the doors to the church kind of open up and then people start sticking their heads out. Um, the town guard, the, the ones which are left, uh, start all kind of dreary, again, mostly covered in blood. Uh, battle worn, battle tired, walk into the square and everyone. Uh, the sheriff is there, uh, Battle Hemlock is there, Amico is there. And there's a few other faces. You look around and you see people who have had their own fights. Um, Zamba's there. Uh, there's a, remember all the names, I'm trying to remember all the names. Uh, Silic and Bear are there. Uh, Bear looks oh. a bit worse for wear. Uh, kind of uh, hobbling along a little bit behind Silek. Um Even uh, uh, Portimo is there too. So you see a few of the faces that you've seen. 
uh, from time to time. You're all astonished, and everyone, the people come out, um, the people come out of the church and just are like clapping and cheering and everything that you've once again have become the heroes of Sandpoint, or maybe more than heroes. Maybe you are now champions of Sandpoint. But we will have to find out next week when Yay! when our story in Sandpoint continues. Well done. Thank Bye. you very much, players. That was good. That was we 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 were a little bit late to to kick off, but we had some technology issues. Um, technology that eventually worked for us uh, in the second half. So we're glad we got to uh, to show you that off. Um, Ryan, you, did you hear Zamba was in there? Yeah, Zamba was in he there. He did. Not Zamba, Zamba. Uh, Zamba, Zamba was in there. So um, thank you very much, Charlie from Beadle and Grimm. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Charlie. Charlie. Uh, it was a blast. Cool. Glad you, glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I've got a full set now. Full house, Beetle and Grimms. <laughs> All five cards. <laughs> yeah. i got to go, go get Justice as well. We got uh, yeah. we, we had Justice booked in for... We have another show, which is the mini painting. The Great British mm -hmm. Brush Off. Um, but you couldn't do it because that's when the snow hit, hit Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we had uh, a lot of problems. But, hey, things were on the mend, hopefully. But for the, for you watching live, for you watching on YouTube, um, hope you enjoyed it. Click if you're watching on YouTube, click on to the next episode. And <laughs> if you're watching on live on Twitch, we will see you uh, next Thursday. See you again soon. Thanks, Stay safe. Thank you for joining Bye. us. Thanks all. Bye. 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 Bye.